Okay. I've hit the recording button. Nice. This is this is the actual recording now. <clears throat> How does that make you feel, Jason? Makes me feel really good. I'm happy about that. I'm excited about this. We have a couple. Well, first of all, welcome, Sasha. Hello. hello welcome, hello. Alex. Hey. This is gonna be fun. Um, the other the other cool announcement I, I wanted to introduce you guys before we got into it. Uh, this is gonna be the first episode back on on YouTube. Yeah, in all we're, the back, we're back on a lot more platforms now. Uh, the people can see this everywhere. Before we were only on Spotify, simple. Now people can see us all over the place. So that, you know they'll see you on YouTube as well, which is really important to people. I didn't realize how important it was. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. It's really not an important detail, uh, but it is. Uh, it is an. It, it's a, a big occasion, I would say. And we were just talking about uh, me being old and uh, being bad at Counter-Strike and yeah. talking about how like Counter-Strike now is not lazy, whereas back in the day it was quite lazy. You could get away with strokes. a lot back yeah. in the day. Yeah. You could just do wide swings and now like people are very considered yeah. and very detailed about the way they play the game. It's kind of... Uh, the talent level from the bottom has a whole risen new world. quite a bit. Yeah, people have to work hard. Mm. I don't know. You, it, it's, it's not it's I actually not have gotten away with knowing like maybe like one smoke per map, really. Really? And now I, I feel like I need to learn more when I pug now. I feel like you definitely need to know more. I feel more like I'm letting down the map. people I play with now. Yeah, how many smokes a map do you know? A lot, actually, a lot. Yeah, yeah I believe Yeah, it. but sometimes if you don't repeat them, you know, you actually forget them. How often do you, you have to uh, do the smokes? Uh, it depends. You always practice in different maps with team. And it uh, depends on maps. You yeah. just go on server all the time before prax and uh, you throw them. Yeah, so you're like reminding yourself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is but there like a database of smokes that like Blade has made and you just go into the database and you're like, bang, oh yeah, that's how I throw this smoke? Yeah, there's a lot of programs uh, on the internet where you can just watch the demo and you can just take any of the smokes. You're on like YouTube before yeah. the game watching a not out here video on how to no, throw No, 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 we, uh, we have our analyzed. So we have program. So you watch any of the smokes in this program and it gives you <clears throat> the console command. So anytime you're on this map, you write this console command, you insta teleport to the place where you throw the smoke. Okay. And it's show you the lineup and that's it. Okay. So it puts you in the position with the coordinates of how you're going to throw it. Yeah. And that's like, okay, bang, done. I just look around that area, throw it back Sometimes uh, you're trying to get this uh, nade for yourself, just to know more nades. Sometimes you do it just because you need to do some round. One of the the things I think is interesting is like when you do creative things in the server is like, you know, a certain smoke gets thrown and to us it might look random because it's not like a standard meta smoke, but it's probably something you've practiced, <laughs> right? And it's like, is it? <laughs> Wait, I'm too loud, no? Well, I don't, I don't know, are you? It could be. It, We're yeah, running all through the AI, AI machine anyways. Yeah, we have us. AI, we have a robot. We use the computer to do We have a robot that, that fucking sorts everything out. And we trust that robot indefinitely. It's been a good robot. It's done it well. It's been the AI has sorted out all the levels, all the good stuff. Yeah, yeah I agree. So anyways, back to you never throwing random smokes. I feel like you throw a lot of randomly designed, spur-of-the-moment creative smokes. <laughs> Not all of them, like when you're in like a clutch situation, no, or like I, a situation yes. turns into like yeah, a Yeah, but I do it because I know uh, how I go. I mean, I usually do some smoke with left click or double click, knowing the trajectory, mm-hmm. the trajectory of the smoke on my feelings, you know? Yeah. Not something that I was practicing, but yes, sure. I was practicing this a lot because it I'm playing it a lot. Uh, like I'm playing a lot of CS, and uh, I know how the fucking trajectory works. And you instantly do it, even when I'm moving. I know where, what, where is it gonna land. Of course, sometimes I can miss it, like any sure. other player. But still, where are you uh, playing Counter Strike at at the moment? Like, obviously, we're here in Malta, but where were you before this? And then, like, you know, do you have like a home base at the moment? Uh, yeah, right now I live in uh, Warsaw. Okay. So my family decided to go back to Ukraine because uh, it's boring in uh, Poland and in Ukraine it's much interesting, I think, I guess. Okay. And uh, that's why uh, I was forced to rent flat. And I just moved my old stuff. I did some PC setup and I'm playing here. But most of the time we did uh, practice on bootcamp yeah. with new roster. We had two boot camps already, and the second one, the, the last one, the latest one, uh, was for two weeks. Okay. And I think I was playing a lot because of this boot camp. Where were you at? In Berlin. Okay, in Serbia. Yeah, okay. No, no, no. Berlin. 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 Germany. Germany, okay. Serbia, I was going to say, no, well, I thought, well, there's, everyone goes to, to Belgrade <coughs> these days to play. No, no, no. No, okay, in Berlin, all right. 
All right. That became like a middle, mini Counter Strike hub. Berlin's arguably. a nice place to be. Actually. Berlin is a nice place. It is actually a very nice place to be. When we got to be there for the Starlight of Berlin Major, yeah. I really enjoyed that. That was a yeah, it's a very nice place. It's a good good city, right? It's Some good people to- say that it's very hard to live there, but it depends. I think. Well, it depends on what lifestyle you like, yeah, right? Yeah. Some people like yeah. it when it's a bit more going on. Like I liked at that time. I think I was probably in my like, like. Yeah. late 20s early 30s because it was a couple of years ago right and that time like i was you know i was keen Still to go a bit out more party mode, yeah. you know go for a couple of drinks and shit it's nice to go to a good restaurant you know get a good meal yeah. and berlin has a lot of that like yeah. it's got good places nice to place. go and people to see and it's like it's pretty cool it's a there fun is city a lot to, get to do if you have time because for example our boot camp was like 14 days long and we only had like two days off so there is not that many time to explore and go to places so on our off days we would just chill sure still playing by the bc and that's it Okay. Yeah, but still, all of us uh, visit a lot of places there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just because we've been in a city. Yeah, like, but last sure. time, many times. Yeah, of course, we, we got only on some breakfast. Yeah, yeah. And the uh, guy was, uh, was doing, he was on scooters, right? On <laughs> yeah, we, we went <laughs> just to do some sightseeing, like, with yeah, almost the Yeah, but there was a lot team. of uh, work. A lot yeah. of, uh, yeah. A lot of playing of CS, you know? Yeah. Well, how many hours a day? No. Oh, for example, I wake up at 9.30. Okay. Uh, at 9.45, I already need to go out with guys. So we're doing walk for like 30 minutes. We just go okay. grab some coffee. After we come back and do discuss two hours. Okay. And uh, after we play screams and after we talk again. When, yeah. you, when you're on the walk, so are usually you... like 10 hours. When you're on the walk, 11, are you talking? You talking on the walk, or you're like Sometimes listening to I'm music? Just listening to music. Depends. Yes, that's yes. kind of cool. <laughs> Sometimes I'm talking, so yeah. some mornings it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. and course. that's fine. Like yeah. people are cool with that. Yeah. Okay, so it's just like a group activity. Yeah. Of yeah. course, yeah. You, yeah. Like you're being yourself when you're going out. You know. Yeah. We're just uh, trying to wake up your mind. Sure. That's why we yeah. walk. So yeah. our brain will start work uh, much faster. What What are you listening to in the mornings? Like what's What's on the playlist oh, at the moment? It's different. It's different. I already say that. What was it? Just this usually choose for, yeah. 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 Okay. Well, I don't know. I don't, I've, I haven't been listening to a lot of music. I listen to like a lot of podcasts. podcasts. Yeah. I don't know. For some reason, like it's there's something in listening to other people talk about things. Like it's it's kind of like a conversation that's going on. But I guess with what you're talking about, you have your team around, so you have those conversations like going on. Whereas I'm listening to other people. Yeah, it was the same in Liquid. I mean, like you're just talking about some random thing, the inspiration or some solution to a potential situation. Yeah. Yeah, you just talk about Counter-Strike the way that we do in the green room. That's curious. You just like basic philosophy, different ways to think about it, different ways to look at it. What if we do this? What if we do that? That's, I, That's what I, we did on the coffee walks. Interesting. Because I've always wondered, like I thought to myself simple, I'm always like, okay, so I'm a fucking boomer now, right? And then maybe one day I wanted to like coach an Australian team. But I don't really know what it means to be a coach. Like I don't have no, I have no fucking idea. Like I know the way that like I think about Counter Strike and look at like problem solving in Counter Strike or the way to play in certain scenarios. But I don't really get what it is to be a coach. And is, if what Jason's saying is, it's just talking about Counter Strike with people. There's more organizational stuff. Uh, you'd be good at it. You'd be you'd you'd be good at it. No, it's a lot of work. But it is a lot of yeah. I think it is a lot of work. But But that's the thing. I don't understand what it is exactly. Like I would like to do it, but I don't know what. I don't know. I would want to make sure I do it well. And I want to change meta in CS if you're one of the best coach. So the way that you solve the puzzle should be the way the next step ahead. Yeah, the way how you let your team play every three, four, five, six months. Because like, it's refreshing the playbook. Yeah, when you show something, like, for example, if you show something new, all teams got this. And the one who is doing this better, yeah. some strat, they're be- winning this, you know? Sure. And it, at some point, all teams start to use the same strat. Like, for example, some route or some uh, normal rotation or, or some normal boost. And uh, you need to create something new against this. Okay, so... You start d- to so use some nades, maybe... For example, on overpass, you go in water and you can nade now. Right, right now, people using triple nades on sandbags or uh, uh, barrels or on happy. Okay. The wood. So, so things, so, so those things I'd call like moves, right? Like, yeah. so you have like broader, broader, uh, like things like, okay, so we're going to do a default, but like part of that default, you're doing these certain moves to yes, target yes, different yes. things. Yeah. So, like, you're, so we're talking about establishing more <laughs> moves that Sorry. define the way people play the game. So if it becomes a tendency for a player to do this, you're talking about a way to exploit that or to, to pressure that or to get a kill there or something like that, right? Mm-hmm. That's really cool. 
So that's that's a, that's a, I, so that's the thing. So I guess no, because it's a good point. Because what we do as analysts is we're looking yeah. at the way that other people solve the game. We're not looking at the way to be ahead of how they solve the Correct. game. Yeah, yeah. We're just looking at the way. Okay, so how does simple solve the game? What does Blade do with simple? What does Blade do with JL? How does the team function? And then what do they do within that? Right? And how to, and, and and so. But you as teams, you already do that naturally by calling something that's the G2 smoke or that's the fucking fanatic you know Molotov or some shit right like you're talking about yes, these yes. yeah and teams define them and when we change uh, players electronic perfecto now we have whole new team uh, like before when we call like it's fanatic smoke or it's like on nuke I say they're doing mouse round mouse round means they do two smokes one smoke main and one smoke uh, windows okay under heaven on nuke okay and everyone understand what they need to do. It means they go outside, maybe if you give them space outside, depends on our strat, how we start at the beginning. Maybe you need to push lobby, or maybe you need to go to secret, because they go in secret, or maybe they're doing mouse coming under heaven, so you need to be prepared if they split A. And everyone understands with one word, but when you have new team, especially internationally, I think uh, you need to find this word with time, uh, together with the team, definition you know? with time yeah, for yeah. example we are watching game together and we have some joke right and we see some moment and that's what happened uh, in our lineup previous lineup before yeah we see something we call this everyone know because we are spending the free time like enjoying this you know of yeah. of, of our work and uh it's something like it's extra practice as well you know it's not it's when natural. you watch something together you're laughing yeah and you say this is like some you call some player a funny moment, you know? Yeah. Depend on what you, what you watch. And in game, you understand this. Yeah. In the international team, everything. It was very hard at the beginning, you know? Taking well, out new call-outs everything for different from, Everything new, yeah. Yeah. You don't know how your players play. You don't know how they react. You yeah. don't... I still don't understand their emotions sometimes, you know? Yeah. Because uh, they're very... Uh, they're very serious sometimes, you know? I'm trying to understand emotion. I even try... Sometimes I say some bullshit to see emotion, you just know, just to get the reaction, just to understand how he's gonna react about this after, you know. De depends what I say, of course. <laughs> and sometimes it's just zero emotion. I'm like, okay, maybe so, next time I'll understand. So maybe that because that comes, I would imagine, from the way it looks, because we don't know what the communication is like, but the way it looks a lot of the time when we're watching Na'Vi play over the years is very serious and very aggressive to each other, especially from like the Zeus days. It would feel like he would be very like authoritative, right? He would be like the mm -hmm. big boss and very like, you know, barking orders. And that feels like, you know, there'd be a lot of bickering in Na'Vi. Like that's the way I think that when people it's see... like a lot of just negative emotions to yeah, every sometimes. reaction to everything. But in like in a way that's like, in a way that's like, yo, this is fucking bullshit. Stop doing this bullshit if you want to fucking win. Not in a way that's just like you're talking shit for no reason, mm -hmm. like in a way that has like a purpose. Whereas like other teams would be like, it's all right, man, you know, nice try, but maybe next time do this. You're like, yo, that was fucking stupid, cunt. You know better. <laughs> you know you shouldn't have done that shit. Like that's the way it looked with Na'Vi, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But with these other guys, you're saying they, they're a bit serious. Do you think it's because they're expecting that type of like attitude? Who? Like your teammates, teammates? you know, like sometimes... JL, Ema, the new I guys. I think, uh, I mean... Because if people do stupid shit, simple, they do stupid shit. Like I'm with you. Like a stupid decision is fucking stupid. I think stupid. they actually came from different teams and uh, in their teams, nobody says that it's actually stupid fucking shit, you know? Mm. And uh, yes, I think... Uh, Someone should say I saw it. they were surprising that I'm actually calling that it's... What the fuck is this? Like, yeah, you know, because some decisions are bad. Yeah, because I know that they can play better. You yes, know? and I'm just telling them, I'm just showing them example. Like, you can never do like this, you know. And I always like to say that it's not like a team play, because in team play you always uh, connect with your the player. bigger picture. Yeah, yeah. Usually when you're in clutch, you connect with one player. Like you're in duo, uh, you need to retake something. Feels very take, comfortable. Yeah, and you you need to do everything just. To get maximum of this. When and I when I don't see this uh, in practice, I just know from my experience that if it's happened in practice, that's 100% going to happen in game. In official. Yeah. 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 I, one of the things I really, I really like is fucking, I remember when you'd clutch with a certain player, there was always like a certain teammate that I liked clutching with more because I always had a better understanding of what they would do and what I needed to do to either be part mm -hmm. of that or make the move. Like that was really cool. It's like, and I remember I had two guys and they were, they were cousins 
And the way that they would play off the clutch, they would never talk to each other. They just have this natural like, intuition. One of them would always be more aggressive and one of them would always be more passive. And they just like play off each other perfectly in the clutch. And it was beautiful to watch. And like, I love that side of Counter-Strike because there's certain players who it's more natural with. You know, did you ever have that? Like a player it felt really natural with yeah, the clutch? Yeah, I think I had it with Electronic and with Perfecto. With, okay. And now I have it with Beat, you know. Yeah. Because Beat usually, she's not that aggressive at all. Okay. And, uh, yeah, so sometimes you do move and the other one just should connect you. He's not answering anything. He just understands because... He knows what well, you're going to do. Playing doing, off, he's playing on yeah, you, Yeah, when right? you're doing uh, a turn, you're just, you're just focusing on this turn. Yeah. Especially you're focusing on aim or to kill some off angle. And the other guy, he just knows that you're doing turns that the enemy need to react. And he need to be a step ahead. Yeah, he's Depends either ready with, with... He knows the, what move you're making, yes. so yeah. he knows what yeah. move they're going to Maybe make. he's got the flash yeah. ready to play off your so, peak or, yeah. So everyone who is uh, really good in understanding the game, rotation and uh, predict, predicting where his opponent's going to be is really good in Clash. Who do you think, think is the best at that right now? Like duo? Maybe from like um, two perspectives, like maybe like an individual in terms of duels, yeah, and then like maybe a broader in terms of like macro, like team decision. Oh, I don't know. Simple and beat maybe. <laughs> 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 but uh, I don't know. I, I think it's uh, not stable. Uh, so there's not other people you right think now. who are good at like clutching really well or no of course Zaivu is good at clutching and on his own like, though or does perfect, he electronic. on his own or with his uh, teammate as well yeah but everything depends on positions as well and map and time it's do you think the good detail. positions are changing in current meta because like you would say that orpers have all the good positions but now I think like some riflers their positions get more action like, I feel like the B-Long player on Ancient gets, like, a lot of action now because a lot of fights come that guy's way. Like, the B-Side B player. B-Long on Ancient? Yeah, it feels like City? a lot. Yeah, it feels like he gets a lot of fights. No, no, no. No? You think it's all mid? <laughs> no, it's usually if uh, CT start, like, two or three middle. Yeah, you just and they block BST, mid. Yeah. The B players play retake. So you There's play a lot of retake on B. On B, of course, yeah. yeah? So Shit, you don't think there's any point up. fighting? Huh? You don't like the map? You don't like Ancient? It's uh, it's very bad, yeah. Really? It's very bad to do retakes. It's very bad to take control. So they what's... They even worse spawns uh, for CT. For c on, on a, go out, in CS2? They can destroy... Oh, you, like like, you don't right like now, it in actually. CSGO? Huh? You don't like it in CSGO? Ancient? Yeah. No, I mean, it's okay, but it's unbalanced for re retakes. If someone takes B or A side... It's, it's better to retake? Yeah. Okay. Do you remember back in the days? It used to be for the, the CT just to play aggressive, remember? But it seems like retakes happen on days, quite a bit. Back in the days, on ancient, you couldn't plant bomb on A side. Yeah, you just get right. just fucking There was three angles because yeah. yeah. the yeah. temple was open. Yeah. But it's still the same now. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's hard. It definitely is. But I thought like back in the day with the old spawns, the CTs could just take full mid and full B like control. They push out cave, they push down B long. That was a nightmare. They have full era. mid control, right? And the T's really couldn't take any for, space. Yeah. yeah, if CT take B control, yeah. B long, it's easy for them. T's are fucked. Yeah, but T just go A. Yeah. And CT is fucked. But that's on like, um, you need to make sure you read the call, right? Or you know how the enemy team plays. Yeah. Yes. What's, your, what's your favorite map in the pool? Yeah, I'm interested because he said it's like Anubis, which means he probably doesn't like Anubis yeah. either. No, well, Anubis I like a lot. Okay. Yeah. I'm just saying it's a lot T-sided because it's hard map to retakes as well. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, it is like, especially the A side. The A side is tough. Like the Even T's can always win, number it, disadvantage. Yeah, it depends how many nades you have. And if you have like... You always need a flank on A side, yeah, I feel. Yeah, just one smoke, few molotovs, even if you're on B or on A, you just take some spots and that's it. So you like yeah, Anubis? Yeah, it's one of those sites that feels Anubis like Inferno where like the if same. they take the site yeah. quick enough, like you just, you can't do anything with it. That's the only problem. So wh where would Anubis be? In what's the best map for you? Oh, it's always Mirage, I think. Okay. You can, can you always tell play me why? different on Mirage. Okay, uh, different options. Sometimes you destroy it by individual skill. Sometimes you destroy it by strats. Okay. I love that we have a Mirage supporter in here. Yeah, it's and interesting. It's, and it's like before there always was map when you start together to play with your friends, like five men stuck. You're like, let's do warm up map. Let's do fucking dust tool. <laughs> yeah, now there okay. is no dust tool. Let's do Mirage. Okay. Everyone does this and everyone, everyone play different maps. Like Anubis, Vertigo, Ancient. 
for you. Well, you guys still don't play Vertigo. If you could have, if you could have one map come back in the pool, what would it be? Would it be train? Train, yeah, train. train. Yeah. Good open. You map. don't miss a lot. Like, a yeah. lot of people say it's a lot. A lot was city sided, but actually, on I rem- remember from my experience, from screams that I played and a lot of show match and just yeah. official games on T, you can just rock. You know, you can win. Five, ten, twelve. If you get some momentum, you yes, can wrap you can, them up. Yeah, you can easily win. And all great comebacks like Gambit did against Astralis at uh, PGL Krakow, or how Astralis did against Virtus Pro in uh, Atlanta E League, uh, was from fucking train T side. T side. Yeah. And the map didn't change at all. I think I think it gets a bad rap because I think <clears throat> it went out of favor during like the Astrala dominance era where things were much slower, much more utility timing based that like they understood better than yeah, anyone. But I guess it was just the first of things to come because it played slow, but now yeah. like a lot of the maps yeah, play everyone slow. Yeah, understand how to play this yeah. map like even faster or I think slower. train could be a lot of fun now in the current meta because there's so many more like micro plays well, and like used mini to it being slow. Yeah, 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 Like yeah. it could be actually be really cool seeing like those individual challenges. And you can destroy Ivy. smokes as well. Yeah. yeah. And CS2, yeah, for sure that would be interesting. But, but I d- still like overpass was Everyone say it uh, like Valve removing map because uh, we see the tournament and the less played map, something yeah. like this. Yeah. But now it was like overpass, less played map on some tournaments and it's still in map pool. But overpass, it's shitty map pool. Overpass, I would remove. I don't like overpass if I'm going to be honest. Because it's very long map. I never have. If you want we to get from A long to B monster, you need to spend like... 30 seconds, you know. Yeah, because yeah, of all the I smokes. I think the bathrooms in Elon need to be reworked again if that, I think the at thing some is, point. I think the thing as well is like Monster has become the new banana. Like in the sense that, remember when you could just block banana on Inferno the whole round from long side? And yeah. like now with Monster, you're just blocking Monster with like three or four smokes in a round. No one can go. Like it's like, and there's so much shit. It's just, I don't, I, have, I never liked Overpass. But uh, that's just okay. me being a hater. I, I've, I've liked it through different areas. But of I imagine shirts. they'll change the map pool at some point, like maybe after the next major, right? Because it'll be CS2. They'll feel like they'll be more active with it. Maybe Train comes back. Train would be nice. We have a lot of maps in the wings that could, in theory, come back. Train, Cash, Cobble. Yeah. All been in their I don't know. I don't like Cash. What's that? Tuscan. Imagine. I'm so done with Tuscan. I'm tired wow, of Tuscan. Jason's not a Tuscan fan. I like Tuscan. I like CPL Mill more, and I know they're essentially the same map, but I hate the. Uh, I hate the way they've taken away that like fence you could shoot through. I hate like in Tuscan, like, like that whole like new yeah. catwalk off to the left. I don't like that area okay. at all. All right. It doesn't it's like no the banana. Oh, the short with the window. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe it seems too simple. That's why I don't like cash. I think it's too simple. I think like dust too, the reason it's not in the pool, it's too simple these days. Okay. Uh, not to use his alias in vain yeah. here, but I don't, I don't know if it has like enough nuance to it. Like on a map like Dust2, what are we talking about here? If you get mid control as a T, right? Then you're either doing a mid to B or you're doing like a cat, you're doing a cap play or you're doing a cap fake. You could maybe do a late long or like B pops became like really popular, like being able to do those B plays. But there wasn't like a whole lot of variation other than that. Like the mid rounding wasn't as detailed as other maps. I think other maps have more excitement, but maybe I'm wrong. What do you think about Dust 2? Do you think it still should be in the, in the map pool? Yes, of course. Fuck, see, there it is. See, now I look like an idiot. I look like a fucking clown. Well, he hasn't given his wise yet. So would you like Dust 2 instead of there Overpass? There should be tactical maps and... Uh, A maps. A maps. Okay. Yes. So, so you think, are there too sides. many tactical maps at the moment? Right now, uh, Nuke is 100%. You can play all rounds, script rounds, ST. So you too just many need executes. to know where to get the control. So the patterns, And you okay. need to know how to react on different control. Uh, overpass, of course, depends everything on strat. Can I just ask with the nuke version, is it because you will always get the better space to win the fight? Is that why? Like you can always play the puzzle to get the space to take the better fight on the nuke, like the scripted version? Like if you do this and they do this, if you reply like this, there's nothing they can do? Like you always have the... Yeah, you understand this, yeah. Yes, yeah. You always understand that, especially by nicknames. When yes. someone rotates, you kill him. Or you just understand that... There's always going to be something you can take and there's work. nothing they can do. Yes, yeah, there yeah. are some rounds when the enemy don't even understand what's going on. You just kill him, like, from not even back. Yeah. And you understand the B is clear. Yes. Something like this. You understand it was perfect fight. Yeah. When you yeah. it's easy to do like this. Yeah, because a lot and of the rotations very are very... Yeah. yeah, if you take certain... There's only certain ways the CTs can rotate so you know exactly what they... Yeah. yeah. There's ramp, Unless they secret, have an aggressive opening. There's ramp, secret, and vent. That's why like, you know, having an orb ramp or something, it changes the rotation because the orb's not going to rotate. Yeah, and if and he does, he can stay ramp. when they take secret, you can't go down vents. So you can yeah. no longer rotate down vents. It's interesting because I never think of these concepts in like that way. 
Yeah. Like, but the way that he thinks about it there, like fucking, it's like, okay, yeah, of course. Yeah. And it makes me just go, I'm a fucking idiot. Well, no, it's... It's, it's the same when you know that AVP in secret on yeah. the as city. Yeah. You know what you he can get away with. You kill your teammate, you just go and take whole fucking outside. Yeah. Take garage. Spread play, heaven. And now you have all this control. And the rifles now, can't then, peak. Now it's they need to fight. react. They need to push or gamble. They go lobby. Yeah. yeah. There's there a top, lot of teams who like to gamble. If they're top, you slowly collapse in. You do the whole... I yeah. remember. Who was it? Uh, like Dozier. Uh, those guys. Fucking Gambit. Like the way they played train. It always felt that way. Like they're just like default and they just squeeze the positions. Like they work out where you are. Area, okay, you, yeah. they know you're there and now you're stuck and then they just squeeze in and you're dead and then they have the advantage. And it's, like, it's kind of the way VP feels for me at times when I watch yeah. it. Yeah, on Inferno especially. Yeah. yeah. That, and that's like, ugh. That, they were, that, that style they were the one who was doing like banana take is three. Yeah. We kill three people and the fourth one hiding behind triple and B. <laughs> <laughs> the first one who did this, actually. So yeah, that's that's why we always call it such an annoying style to play against because we always we've had that feeling of like being against because like that team when they have like a good yeah, it's always you, flit hiding behind it's fucking not triple like, box or some shit. It's not like you're getting out aimed. It's like I can't do anything. Like and the funny thing is that ahead. old VP, the Polish guys. Yeah, I think they were the first one that I played uh, practice against. And they bought five like smoke, small lot of flashes on cobblestone ST. And they did like the wall, you know, on the A, there was like yep. a yeah, door. Yeah, yeah, and there yeah, was a wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they did this With the wall, truck. Yeah, from <laughs> A long to this door. <laughs> and they all cross from A to B. Side, to yeah, B, yeah. No, oh, to B, to through, B. through connector. Yes. Yeah, that's right. And we had old Navi roster. We just killed all of them in body. Like three shots, like bam, bam, bam. All of them died so fast. <laughs> Fucking hell. Yeah, I remember that as well. I used to like Cobble. Cobble was my favorite map when I was in game leading. I was sad when they, when, you know, when it, when it disappeared from the map pool. Yeah, that was your guys' map for a while. Yeah, I liked it. I had good executes on it. I thought that like the NIP executes, the only ones you could do over the wall from outside like uh, A ramp. So like you're... Uh, you'd be able to throw it and then like drop down mid and go A fast. There was like B smokes that you could throw like over the roof. NIP. Trumper. Huh? Trumper. So uh, on the T side of Cobble, cobble yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, so do you got middle and then like over here is like to go to B. Um, yes, so that. over here you could throw the smokes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, so um, with that, I, I would do like a lot of different variations of smoke. So a lot of mine were like scripted calls. So I know what reaction I was going to get from the rotations, right? So I was like, kind of like doing a lot of pattern calling. That's why Cobble was good for me. I like a lot to execute B. Just yeah, it was because you get a lot of good fights. Man, were all maps so easy. were all maps pretty scripted back then when you guys were like that was like 2015, 2016. For, for us, it was. I don't think like NIP was really good at the default. Well, like, the Swedish were, teams back then were always unscripted. They yeah, didn't, they didn't even know what but a script like was. Like Blade stuff. Well, not with him, but yeah. Blade's other stuff was pretty like execute heavy. Yeah, I know. I played. I don't know. I, SK I don't, was good. Luminosity. Yeah, they were really good on Cobble. Awesome. Yeah, mm. it's good. Has Blade changed a lot over the years? Is he still the same kind of coach, the same kind of philosophy of Counter Strike as he used was years ago? <laughs> I don't know. What do you mean, like? Like his the his outlook on how to play Counter Strike changed over over the time no, over the years. Yeah, of course it depends on meta. Yeah. Well, yeah. And he just know how it's better. But his know. way of like organizing how he thinks things should be accomplished and approached. I think uh, with this system, this system uh, working for a lot of time. Okay. From 2020, I think. So it's the same. Yeah. Same just approach. people changing. Yeah. And yeah. sometimes we change uh, our schedule. You know, with some practice, and we know how it's better. Sometimes we do four maps, five, six maps. Depends uh, what we want like to practice to achieve yeah. yeah what goes out the like so with that though you're talking about the approach and the way that people have to see different areas i imagine right so like you as a certain piece in what, what blade is looking at of the game right but there's a certain point where that goes out the window and you guys get to play the game like you guys get to like identify with how you approach certain situations like i use um I don't know, like I can use Afro as an example. Like he repeaks a lot as an AWPA and you see the way he repeaks into fights. Like it's not like quick or crazy or anything. It's like always very steady and he's confident that he's going to be able to scope it and hit the shot mm -hmm. in time. Like when you see something, like that's the identifies as how a player approaches the game. So at what point is it like, does Blade go, okay, like you can approach this situation as how simple would. Because obviously there's a goal and there's a certain nade you have to throw in a certain time. You just know the perfect uh, reaction on some situations. Okay. We just know like... When Blade say is that in this situation you don't need to repeat, it's 
it's I understand it automatically and okay. everyone should understand this, you know. So it's it, because you don't have advantage. When you don't have advantage, it, that's it. For example, um, for example, you can stay on city on inferno on B with smoke on gap, you know, on pixel gap. Yeah. When you see someone, you go a bit back, you smoke banana. Yeah. Like but there is players like Nico, they who hit that shot. Yeah, they just do hit the shot. Yeah. And I'm telling to my players that you cannot play like this. You need to do this jump. This jump is hard. Sure. You, know? you can still jump, but nobody's gonna hit you. Sure. Never, never. It's like on B ups. On Mirage. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. So all players who play with me should know like the best advantage things. Okay. And they should never forget about this. So what do you? What happens? <laughs> but what ha what happens when you find yourself in a situation where you can't make a good decision? Like you're fucked. It depends. It depends. In some situations, for example, you know that they're splitting you, and you're trying to win time. It's bad. You just need to do some move. And at, kill. At this point, you need to do risk move. At yeah. this point, you need to pick. At this point, it's nothing better than. To pick. Yeah, when it becomes your only yes, option. Yes, and when you pick and yeah. if you kill after, you have you have choice, you know? Sure. The time slows and you have choice to move left or right. And you decide where you need to do straight. Like a penalty. Yes, and after it's, that's how highlights goes, you know? Yeah. But everything happening very fast, like bam, bam, bam. But that's the moment like that makes a good or a bad player. Yes, mm. yes. Decision making. Or a great or a good, even separating them. Well, yeah, but like to... To do those things consistently is very hard. Yeah. Like to get two kills every time is the quality of a very good player. If they come your way and you're getting, you know, a two kill, that's fucking great. Yeah, no one's getting two kills. Sometimes every time. because of some strat, you cannot get those two kills, you know. You have to die. If someone fail. No, yeah. yeah. Sometimes you need, of course, sometimes to you go get lucky. first and, yeah. yeah. And sometimes because of your teammate, uh, fucks on the cup. Your, your game fucks, you know, yeah. if you did something wrong because you're in pair. Yeah. And if everything good in pair, you just showing your hundred percent level how you practiced, mm. and sometimes when he's doing some stupid mistake, you start to improvise because you're alone and that's yeah you don't feel that connection yeah. in the game. So and you after you need to make some decision like, yeah. and and after it's like if you're a good player you'll find this good decision if your teammate failed. Can I ask you a question? No. <laughs> did you used time to, to break? Did you you want to have a break? Answer me this, and then we'll go for a break. Did you used to improvise more? What? Back in the day when you played for like Flipside and Liquid and shit, did mm -hmm. you used to improvise more than you do now? Improvise more? Yeah, like so you're talking about if your teammates fuck no, up. No, bro. Back in the days, uh, I improvised more because now I just know what moves is better to do. So before you were playing now more I know feeling. All moves, all yeah. moves. But before it was feeling and intuition. Uh, sometimes, yes, but yeah. No, 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 no. It's hard. Listen, it's hard to answer because at the beginning uh, you don't know how it's gonna work against all pro players, and because of because your brain young, okay, it's like it's different. It's different at all. After you win some games, after you play in LAN, after you facing best teams, it's changing a lot. You know who can who who you can repick. You know which players. I know yeah, that yeah, yeah. I can repick some of the operas. Name and them I all. know, <laughs> <laughs> and I know against some of them. If I repeat, it will be bad, because I know he will kill. I know, and it's just something. It's I think it's experience, you know. Mm. Uh, but still, yeah. Well, you get that in clutches too. Okay. After a while in the pro scene, right? You get like, I know how this guy's gonna play one v one. I know this guy's yes, gonna yes, peak. I know this guy's yes, gonna stick yes. it. I because know this guy's you watch the game. It's one of the most important things. Uh, for player to watch a lot of games, even if it's shit games on SLTV, like tier two, tier three teams. If you know some nicknames, or if you know that some of them can show some good nades or smokes, you can easily watch it and find something interesting for yourself. It's rare when you find something like, "Wow, it's actually good off angle." But uh, we know how many teams from tier two or three scene show us smokes or some meta, especially on new maps like Ancient Anubis, when it just came out when. Nobody played ancient because on tournaments there was no ancient. Remember, there was tournaments yeah. and everyone played old update and nobody used like uh, ancient sure. or Anubis, whatever. And yeah, that's how you progress. Yeah, all right, let's go for a break. You need to spend all your time in something that you want to be interested, like to be, to be the best at. Yeah, or one of the best. Oh. To be the best, it's a bit harder, yeah. But uh, just to be one of the best, it's easy. 
You just need to spend time on it. No matter what. CES or whatever you want to do in life. That's how I say it. Bang. It's like a go base. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I believe we're back. Sasha's... We started uh, again? He's, at, he's, at, he's, uh, he's, he's AFK. He'll be here in a, in a moment's time. Um, but we are returning. So I, I think we should maybe... If we continue for a while longer, there will probably be more breaks. I think we should probably warn the audience. Yeah, of, there will of, be a couple of, more. Of more breaks. It's going to so feel more, seamless, though. Yeah, well, hopefully, because there'll be pauses and then they'll be <laughs> jutted back into a new conversation that so exists. It's jarring. Well, yeah, but, but at this, oh, this video is fucking fantastic. Yeah, Hugo did a really good job with this video. I don't know if you saw this. But I'll turn the volume up. Fuck it. I, I don't did. think we'll get DMCA'd here. <laughs> it's really good. He's, he's nailed it. So, that's my favorite line. I yeah, love that line. it is a very good line. So this is from some British comedy of some variety. It was, I think it was like a, was it a comedy or was it just it, another sports broadcaster? No, no, it's a comedy. Or is it a comedy? It's okay. a comedy. Yeah, it's kind of. I just spoofed for Counter-Strike. Yeah, it's remade. kind of making fun of the amount of Counter-Strike there is on the, all the time. Well, five weeks is a lot of Counter-Strike. Five weeks of four groups. It's just all, all year round though. Yeah, really. like and then you add in the other wins. tournaments. Yeah. But this is where it gets real funny. Here we go. <laughs> I was it's, gr- it's great that he just goes on with it. Like yeah. that's, that sells it. That brings it home. I hope they can hear it. Yeah, I hope so too. It's so good. I should look at Twitch chat right now. Twitch chat's fucking hilarious. It's so good, man. <laughs> it's it's the it's my favorite thing that Hugo's ever done. Yeah, he's, like without he's that, like he's done some good stuff. But that right there is the favorite thing. Oh, great. That I'm looking at Twitch chat right now. We've got some good stuff coming in here. It's Counter Strike, Pog. Um, insane, bravo! It's great. Look, there's good comments in here, and Fallen's now on the stream. Look at that, it's fucking nice. Fallen. Oh yeah, I saw him in the, walking around the studio today, just wandering there and just hanging out. out. The uh, the Fury Gaming House. Sometimes people are hanging out. Yeah, anyway, how do you like the show, Alex? Is, uh, he's probably not watching. Yeah, I would. Watch, he's not you, watching the show. Oh, I didn't watch the show at all when I was coaching. Do you? Do you guys he's watch the show? I do, I do watch it sometimes. I mean. It's nice. It's quite a relaxed atmosphere yeah. here in Malta, and it feels really good to have a tournament kind of like this when yeah. you don't really care much. A little bit more fun to it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm glad we're adding that to the vibe. <laughs> I'm glad we're, I'm glad we're make, giving that yeah. feeling. Yeah. Uh, no, but that's that's. Uh, it, Just talk into the in the mic. Yeah. Okay. I, I guess the it's maybe. From your mouth I thing. guess it's not. <laughs> the Jason <laughs> Rogan. I guess it's not. Um, like that's the thing. It's it's low stakes counter-strike it's not arena counter-strike but it's ca- like it the thing is there's different levels of what we're doing right like a cologne or a Katowice is always going to be better than everything yeah. everything uh, well majors will obviously be on par right but like there's certain things that have stakes and don't have stakes and there's certain things that are you know still entertaining to see the teams play but that we all know there's not as much on the line that's the way it is but i wouldn't say it's like low stakes counter-strike okay because nowadays it's quite you got quite competitive i would say and uh, your like any opportunity for you to win a tournament is like it's always great so you yes. think winning you something that pro league you is you don't important? have an year going on right now <laughs> okay like in a way because we usually have different tournament winners so like for us we haven't won anything in a year already sure. so it would feel nice to win again every event's kind of important and that way at yeah. this point you don't really care if it's like Malta EPL something or if you go to Australia or if it's like any other tournament so so from a team perspective everything is important to win i think so yeah yeah well i would say too like interesting uh, because that's not how we frame it at all jason no but but like i mean yeah but you always say that as a player right but like i think the important thing too is like and you would know this as a manager as as well of a team is in spending time with these guys i mean when i was with liquid it was like kind of the same like even though i was during the online era like cologne was still like a little bit more prestigious in a way than 
And oh, like, sure. And, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. but like, so like every event is important to win, but not every event has the same like feeling coming into it, right? Like, there's when you go to Cologne, and we know but this right is now, talent, I think it does. But when, I, in general, I think you're right. But right now, I think it, it's the same because we're changing game. I agree with you 100%. Yeah. But I think right now in this weird limbo period of CS2, it's fucking strange. Like, I agree 100% that Cologne is the way, Like, if teams want to win an event, it should probably be a Cologne, right? They should try and ramp either for a major or for a Cologne. A good time to peak or a good time to perform would be one of those events. Yeah, Cologne's but, like the identifier in the schedule. But at the moment, we're going to change game. So, like, just win whatever the fuck you can. Like, yeah. Take a fucking trophy whenever you can. A do, it's a smash and grab right now. It's a fucking sure. you know, smash the window. Grab a couple on the way you know, out. Take, yeah. a, take a few and go, yeah, we got a couple trophies before CSGO transition. Because who knows? I would suspect that most of the players are going to stay good, right? But some of them might drop off. Some of them might just be dog shit. They might just lose the motivation. That could just be the case. Some How people, many? What percentage? I don't know, man. 10? Uh, th- probably 7%. 7.5%. 7.5%. 7.5%. Yo, what's going on, man? Now we know what he listens to in the morning. What are you listening to? Anything exciting? (laughs) (laughs) He loves that question. He's back there. Hold up, man. I'm closing the. I'm closing the door. One second. I'll be right back. (laughs) Where's he going now? I don't know. He's going somewhere else. It's me and you. We're holding down the fort. Oh, he's closing the door. All right. All right, he's got it. We're good. We're good. All right, he's back. We've got uh, simple back in the room. It's all good. He's uh. I don't need anyone need a beer. I'm good. You, you want a drink? No, I'm good. good. All right, fair enough. All right. Well, we were just talking about the importance of Katowice, Cologne, Majors, yeah, that kind of stuff, and how it might change. We've got Harry on the screen right now as well. That's really exciting. H. Russell. Yeah, Have, uh, I like that he's chosen to go. He's committed to the mullet. Have you noticed this? Yeah, uh, he's gone the Holzer route of committing yeah, yeah. to the mullet. A, well, a, a personal choice. When he told me he was doing it a while ago, I I did I did get excited by it. What do you think of Roy's drawing there? That's good. It's added a good. Yeah, you think it's, it's good? added a good vibe. Yeah, I think it's quite exciting. He put a lot of paint on the uh, on the paper to draw that smiley face. He did, but that's the thing, you know. I'm we, not against it. I don't I really am care. Glad that he he wasted the materials, like you know. I think I am most glad players would. Yeah, would have. Well, also, I think most players would have just said no. Hey, I'm glad that he was a good sport. Simple. If we asked you to paint a picture on the show, would you paint a picture for us? No. I didn't think you would. Let's see. Yeah, that's exactly what you I gotta thought. Got to know which players to ask. I've done, actually, uh, what, what would you do? Are there any things like I saw Perfecto? He was doing like an AMA on his Instagram a couple of weeks ago. And uh, he said he liked, he was into fishing. He, one of the hobbies yeah, yeah. that he liked was fishing. Yeah, I knew. Do you have any hobbies like that that you like? <laughs> Not really. No? Talking to that bad we gotta, boy. We got to get you in the mic, Sasha. <laughs> yeah. Hold on, we'll turn your game up. We'll get you Say it again for the audience. Right. Not really. You don't have anything okay, you like so to do. I like surfing, but I need time for it, you know. Where would you surf? Where would I surf? Yeah. I would surf in Portugal to practice, in Lisbon. Yeah. There's ocean. Have you surfed a lot? No, not a lot. No. Like I think it's three fun. Times. It's really peaceful when you're sitting out there on the surfboard. Like yeah. I, as a kid, when I was in Australia, I used to do like bodyboarding. You know, the one where you lay down and you have the yeah, fins yeah, on. Yeah. I used to do that. And I did that like up until I was like 15 or 16. And then I got really into Counter-Strike and I stopped doing it. But it was really good like because you'd go out early in the morning when the winds in Australia, you want to go when it's really calm. Mm-hmm. So you'd go when it's really calm and you'd just sit there on the board and it'd be in the morning. It'd be like 6.30, 7 a.m. in the morning. The sun would be rising. It'd be fucking beautiful. It'd be like 30 degrees. And you'd be sitting there on the board and the waves would just be rolling in. And it's just really peaceful I think it's there. nice when the human synchronize with water, you know. It feels good, it yeah. Calm, but... It calms your body. Do you swim here? Paddle boarding no, nice. no, no, in Malta. No, you don't want to swim no? here? No. No? There's some good spots to go swimming. I have some nice spots. I actually to go never swim here. <laughs> really? You should. It's a great spot. Nice yeah. <laughs> Not even once. It's get three in, times get here in the water, dog. Would you like to go swimming? No, man. No? It no. doesn't interest you here? <laughs> Just Lisbon. Yeah. Right. I'm actually thinking. No, not, not even once. There's some nice places. There's this yes, place. Yes, I know. I know. There's, uh, there's, uh, there's uh, a lot of nice beaches. Yeah. And uh, But you need to drive there. There. Would you go out on a boat here? Uh, I was on a boat actually we, uh, last time. Last season. Not last season, but uh, season oh, one, when, one more season ago before. Ago. Year ago. Year ago. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we yeah. went uh, to Sicily. Si- si- Sicily. Oh, you yeah, went we a took a ferry. Oh, yeah, we took okay. a ferry yeah, to okay. Italy. It's so, like one hour, 30 minutes, yeah. and you're in Italy already. How and was that? Was I looked into doing that. Was it that was nice? insane. Yeah. It was insane. Cool. And actually, we. It's like a little fishing village over there, right? That they take you to in Sicily? No, I think it's a city no, no, of Sicily. No, no, no. In Sicily, there's like three uh, rayona. 
like districts. We've been to Catania though. Catania, yes. So we arrived. I don't remember like the name of the, of the port you go sure. to. Then it was almost like two hours ride for us, and it was ten of us, and we had the van, and everyone was like <clears throat> packed. Okay, so it's a bit cramped. Yeah, yeah. there is Catania, and there is like one more Palermo. If yeah. I'm, Palermo is also. But Palermo there. is the most fun one. But My it's parents like, went to Palermo. But it's like three hours yeah, drive it was here, way here for us. Yeah. But we've been in Catania and we spent uh, like yeah, we had a great time, time there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah okay. It's That's like cool. everything's uh, different, you know. Yeah. You're eating different food, different people. Everything is so calm. And there, actually, I uh, rent a boat. Yeah. And I went with my friends, and uh, you can see um, there is a vulcan, right? Yeah, there was a volcano. The, How's the name volcano. of the volcano? Etna. Volcano. Okay. Yeah. yeah. yeah really? And you know that uh, this year, like uh, like few weeks ago, or three or four weeks ago, this Edna just... Erupted? Uh, yeah. Pop- I didn't know yeah. about that. I didn't that. either. No, I had no idea. Yeah. Oh, now that, you know so something. we're on a fault line. That's interesting. <laughs> I live around here and I've never done any yeah. of that. That's Maybe scary. it was not the big one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah still it, it but that's yeah. great. Like yeah. still, I'm so ignorant. I had no idea that that even. <laughs> yeah. So it's that's very comfortable to travel from here to Italy. Yeah. And uh, in this uh, Sicily, uh, there's actually like this Catania, right? Palermo. And there's good shops, good food, good restaurants, like a really great place to live. Mm. Do we, well, because we, we've gone out on a boat here, not like your type of boat that you went on to fucking Catana on, but uh, we went on a like little boat. Like a 15 person Yeah, boat. for like, you know, 10 yeah. to 12 people. Um, and it's like, you know, you go out you with the boat for like eight hours or whatever. It mm-hmm. takes you to like a nice little bay or a lagoon or whatever. It's really nice. So you yeah. just sit out on the boat. It's like, it's like yeah. four to eight hours, however long you want it to be. It's, it's quite like beautiful you to, out take there. you to a couple you know, different bays. Take some beers and shit. Paddleboard. Go yeah. have a couple of beers. Beers, a little bit of food if you want it. It's really nice. And yeah. like, it was, I think, what are we paying? Like 400 euros or something? It wasn't for, much. Yeah, fuck all, really. It was when you split it like among tens of people, it's like whatever. Really not, yeah. really quite nice. It's, it's a good thing to do. That's good for us, yes. Next time, invite me. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. <laughs> like we should we should do that like on the when you so guys good story yeah. we've, we've been trying to pitch esl on an idea of doing media day on it you on come a on a big we get a big boat we just for run the a players, boat and take players out all day and do, do but we don't record media should be after party do you remember good twitch after parties yeah but twitch, Before COVID? twitch don't that was a long use the credit card ago. anymore man. yeah i know they i know sucked that, it in, mate. that means that esl should use some right? well yeah come on like they you know they gotta sell. They gotta sell that bad boy. Why don't Do you remember the last after party? So oh, yes, so yeah, yeah. Need Those to old school parties out. were great. What, what if we do? Uh, <laughs> what if we do? Um, we get a boat on the media day and, no, and no, instead no, of it's, media. It's not the same. What do you mean? It fucking sucks. Because you it's not need after. to come back to take people to so, next team. What okay. is this? So let's say about if this. If you do like the fucking if, huge if, boat for a thousand people and everyone invited here at the same time for one day yeah. so everyone can fucking enjoy, yeah. sleep, yeah. wake up and next day they go to their hotels and they have games on next day. Yeah. So the whole media day on one on everyone one relax. huge that's, ship. Just imagine. That's so going to be a little bit harder to pitch. So what about this though? It's easy to pitch. Yeah. Yeah. Pitch. You said pitch? Yeah. Pitch. Yeah. Like to handle? Like to do? No, it's easy to do. It's easy to do. A thousand person boat. Okay, like Less. 200, 200 people both. No, okay. but, but what if math. we do this? What if we do this? Instead, like, what if after, just after the event, right? So, all the teams who are in the playoffs, they stay one day after the event. So, like, the event ends on Sunday. But then on Monday, there's a big boat for everybody, you know, and no one's playing anymore. So, it's all good. Big boat, Monday mm-hmm. goes out, yeah. you know. There's a bit of this, bit of this going on, bit of, you know, bit everyone having a good time, having a bit of a swim, what if having we, a bit of an enjoy, you know, big boat. And would, would that be interesting or would it be better to be I think before? a lot of teams who lost semifinals, yeah. finals, yeah. and finals, yeah. and the special what finals. What if we do it for the playoff media, media day? Better to do it before. Yeah. What if we do it for the playoff media day and only give it to the teams who've directly qualified to the quarterfinals? Wow. So it's a reward. It's a reward. So, okay, that's interesting. Your media interesting. day gets to take place on a boat that's for six hours. Interesting. With a barbecue. So at the yeah, moment, but depends on team who gonna qualify for quarterfinal. Some of the teams not gonna go on. That's any true. Boat. Some of the teams wouldn't want to go on the yeah. boat. He's like right. Us, that, for can't be, that can't be true. No, there's a <laughs> few. You guys of them. Go on the boat. He, no, he's no, right. No. There is a few of them. You know who I think he's it's talking about. It's only me and Alex who go <laughs> on the boat. <laughs> So we should just get a boat on the media day. JL seems saying. like he'd be good on a boat. Yeah, JL's cool. Yeah, he seems JL like would a be good on the boat. Dude. But you know, he has girlfriends, so... Ah. He's <laughs> a bit quiet guy. We'll get okay. some plus ones out. Okay, oh, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah, fair enough. What do you think of your new teammates, though? Good, good yeah. guys. Yeah, very nice guys. 
So you've got uh, Alexi B, has it, has JL, it, has Emma. Has it been fun? Like this is like a, you've had new teammates plenty through your career, but this is like a complete change of the team essentially. Yeah. Has it been fun like having that? Is that refreshing? Like a whole new... And you got to speak fucking yeah. English, yeah. man. That must Brain suck. works differently. Yeah. Especially in English when you need to learn a lot of new things. Yep. English is shit. Yeah. Our language, like the way that we talk in our comms, I remember listening to like, remember those, it was like 2015 where there was those videos of the comms from like the pro league and it was yeah. like, then you had the Swedes. I didn't understand what they were saying, but you could hear Very the way succinct. they talk. Yeah, yeah. But the way in English we're going, be, 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 be. Like we're just, we're apes, you know, we're like comming like, oh, we got to talk. It's like, it's so, I feel like English with that, you're repeating <laughs> nonsense information. Our, our language, I don't know why it's very you think verbose. That's, you think that's language or you think that's discipline of the players? I don't know. Maybe it's yeah. discipline. Maybe maybe it's discipline. What are, what are your comms like? Are they crazy? Are you saying B, 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 B? Are you saying B? 3B, 3B, 3B. Go away, go away, 3B, 3B. So still okay. repeating. But would yeah. you repeat in when you're speaking, you know? If it's very important, you should always repeat. Trust me. Damn, I like yeah, that. Well, communication, As a guy who likes to communicate, it's not I just, fucking like that. It's not just the words, it's the emphasis, right? Yeah, of course. Like you can tell when someone's yeah. really getting pressured by a rush yes, or when... But like, sometimes your microphone not working on stage, you know, you need to say it louder. Okay, because of the crowd well. or something yeah. like that. Yeah. yeah. Would, I guess, yeah, you've played a lot there's of stage. So many, there's so many of those stage... Well, that's the thing. Pitches. This is probably the perfect guy to ask yeah. about stage stuff. How do you like the? Uh, how do you feel about the crowd giving away information on a flank, well, on a lurk? I think you've it's taken advantage of game. it. I think you've... it's like game okay. for a professional, like oh. for, for people who is on top level. So are you anti sound booths? Sometimes, of course, you understand everything. Like, but you saw a lot of examples when all of Messi on cash was. Yeah, yeah. Doing, but if you could choose a tournament, would you put sound booths in it? And of stage? course, yes. You would, you yes? would? Yes, yes. Oh, I don't. I wish I hadn't asked him that. Question. No, now you've. Un- I, why? Oh. So, but you just said you feel it's a game for professionals with the way it is now. But just right? imagine something but, so crazy, but players don't know about this. Yeah, but and after when the game finished, they watch replays and they're like, what the? Fuck? <laughs> it's like crazy. But, but don't don't, you know, don't you feel so separated from the environment when you're in one of the soundproof booths? Like you can't feel the crowd really the same way. No, you can booth. you can still feel them. Okay. You still feel sometimes in uh, this. But there's never booths. been a real CS soundproof booth, has there? Krakow. But, Krakow was it a soundproof booth? Yeah. It was. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so that was the only one. The Starlighter one wasn't there, right? I don't think the there was face at uh, London Major. Those was that in a booth those as well? Are, those yeah. are, those I still believe I heard from the Gambit guys from Krakow that they could still hear shit from the really yeah. yeah yeah you can you it's can, not that it proves you like you, 100% yeah. have you played in them we played in the show match yeah and like you could still it's feel... different in a show match man like yeah, no yeah I know the rumble's it. 10 times louder in the finals or in a playoff match but like you can I couldn't hear anything but I could feel vibrations but it's also not the rumbling. same intensity of focus like I imagine sometimes like I guess the thing is because he's played in so many when you have played in a lot your focus like you can you can treat the game almost like it's a normal game for most people but for like us if I was on a stage match I'd kind of be freaking the fuck out yeah I'm but I like the, match, I like man. that influence though like in oh, I think it's good booth, too I think you give you actually take you away you wouldn't you say so but you wouldn't what do you mean you would be calm, man. Come on. You think so? Of course, you're not weak person. You would be calm. But it's don't you think that the influence of the moment, like, is is a big deal, and it's something that you've you don't think that's a skill that you've learned? <laughs> no, man. No, you just like that. No, it. Uh, you you learn this skill in life, I think. So when we talk, when, when was we, the last time you felt like really nervous in a clutch or on a stage in a game? Like, what what was the last time you were just like, oh shit, I got nervous? No, I don't remember. But it happens sometimes when you do some crazy kills, especially. Yeah. And you know that you need to do a few more kills. Yeah. And you're like, you understand that now you can win, and it's do you get very more? Important. Do you get more jacked up when you pull crazy shit off, or when you lose a clutch? Like when you pull some, like after you won the the, the cash clutch, were you like fucking adrenaline pumping and going crazy? In this one, no, but in the other one, one on five against Renegade, not against you, <laughs> on Cobblestone, yeah. I was like, I even uh, take pause because yeah. my heart was shaking because I knew it's insane moment if right. I kill the last guy. Is that the best clutch you played? <laughs> no, no, no. What's the best clutch you played? No, it's no answer about this. Really? Mm-hmm. You don't have a best? No, there's a lot of really good. 
I did the uh, I did the when ESL we did a couple of those like top ten plays that we did with like Twist. Yeah, yeah, I saw those. I did yeah. Simple and yeah. Zaiwu, and Simple picked like for his number one cliff. He picked like an online match from 2012 or 2013. So it's no best. Uh, with like a yeah. USB. Okay, well, <laughs> what about this then? <laughs> oh, he's gone. I hit my finger. What? Is it broken or? Are you bleeding? Um, okay. Yes. I have band aids. It's all right. We can sort this out. You keep talking. Yeah. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, you yeah. really think that he doesn't have a best clutch? What's he, what's your favorite clutch? I mean, it's hard. There's just there's <laughs> so too many. many. Yeah. It's too many. Um, there is. You cannot even like judge them because they're unique, mm -hmm. in a way. So, there, it's impossible to name one. Sure. For sure. What's it? What's it? What's it like watching from like a organizational perspective? Like watching the games go on when you're like in the booths and inside those arenas. Like that's it's a whole different experience in itself because you're invested in a very unique way, right? Like yeah, yeah, it's hard like all the time. And uh, I even had at some point I had experience staying behind the guys, and I'll tell you, it feels like both things feel different from what when you're in game right. when you don't really think much and you don't care much and that's like the whole point because if you stay behind the backs for example you see the whole picture and it's like it's insane that you cannot change this moment yeah and it feels so like and you, you and you hear the things as well yeah right? you, hear and you feel talking, so yeah. desperate because you hear that for example someone's calling something that like leads you to death but yeah. there is nothing you can do about it you can just watch it and yeah and hope for the best yeah, yeah. <laughs> and hold on yeah How we do? We Can gotta. You hear me now? Wow, it, it'll pick you up, yeah. But yeah, the computers are gonna save us. It's uh, it's over talk here now. It's here, it's here, it's here. Yeah, talk about your house. So okay. I will talk about my house. So this is one of the things I guess we can talk about whilst actually. Where are you living, bro? Uh, what are you doing here? Yeah, he's right. <laughs> so when one of the weird things about working an event where you live is you have to live at the same time. In the sense of like you have bin days and like you have to, you know, like the food, I don't have a hotel where I just kind of am eating food. Like I have my house where I either like have to cook something or order something in or whatever. I don't have like a lot of responsibilities. Oh, do you have girlfriend? Yeah, I do. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> but sometimes she cooks for you. She doesn't live here though. But sometimes she lives here. Sometimes she does live here. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what people want to know as well. Yeah. <laughs> Are you all right? Yeah, it's fine. Did you hit your fucking toe now? <laughs> He's got a band-aid. We have more. I have a whole first aid it's kit. It's fine. We'll I try be and fine. be quite responsible. I have a whole first aid Don't kit. Don't worry about anything. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I, this is an excuse, right? One that I could fix by sleeping less. I'm aware. You know, I don't want to be, sure. I just, I'm trying to get my excuses out of the way here before, pos before it's possible. But uh, so when I finished the broadcast today, so Jason and I started the day so that we could finish early because the show's still going to come into the, the podcast uh -huh. today. Um, so when doing that, uh, I didn't leave my house in the best of states. So when we left the show, Jason was like, yeah, Simple finishes prac at eight o'clock and then once we, you know, he's ready to go, we'll leave. So I'm racing home from the hotel to get here to try and throw everything together and the last thing I did, which I've been called out for now live on the podcast, the was not having the bin liner in the bin. So the bin liner is now in the bin, Sasha. I apologize profusely. It's now good to go. I was almost there. See, I haven't put the clothes rack away either, mate. I feel like a fucking absolute... I feel like a shit person. It's sweepers right. out on the couch. Yeah, it's the fucking vacuums yeah, out. Like I've got simple in my house and I'm, I'm a fucking animal. I'm an animal. <laughs> what kind of person you are. Man. I know, I feel like You're a fucking animal. You're worrying about some <laughs> shit stuff. You know, my mum, she fucking embedded it in you me. Know you know what I'm worrying about? Yeah, what are you worrying about? Nobody sent me that we changed the Salini Resort to the Intercontinental Hotel. That's because of me. Do you like that? Of course I like it. <laughs> because uh, <laughs> I live fucking three weeks in the Salini Resort. Yeah, I remember. And you know that yeah. I talked with main guys like from this hotel. Yeah, yeah. And one of the old guy was always interrupting me. You so were me in and the Alex news. was you were sitting. In the news. Yes, yeah. in the news because you took on an and entire they did, country. They did fake yeah. news. And I, and I'm like <laughs> in in one table with uh, owners of this uh, Salini Resort, I'm like, why you did fake news? And he's like you said bad stuff about us. That's why we did this. And after uh, every time when I try to explain that this fucking hotel sucks, and <laughs> <all> the, <laughs> I try to explain him the problems. He always interrupt me and always like said some fucking nonsense. 
And so I'm trying to say you that I changed uh, the ESL Pro League contract. Uh, I mean, t- uh, technically. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. To Intercontinental. But you like, you like the Intercontinental? We like the Intercontinental it's fine. more. It's, it's fine. It's fine. It's yeah. fine. Okay. I mean, I like it. That's good advertisement. The Intercontinental. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah. Simple. Yeah, that's pretty good. You know? At but least much better than the last I one. I just remember Elish, who at the same day when I had fucking end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like living the fucking... Uh, I, I remember I had like two rooms in this hotel. Because one was renting for my friend. And yeah. The second was mine. Yeah. So I was living in different rooms. And I had different problems. One room I had mold. Second mold is bad. Ends. And uh, I remember Elijah, uh, she, she, she lives, message, she goes, she lives on the first floor. The first floor is the fucking worst one with ants. So, and uh, he left and changed room on the first day. And I'm like, why why you, uh, like, why you live in your room? And she's like, what the fuck is this? It's fucking ants. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I have the same. And he's like, good, good. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Elijah uh, likes to be clean too. Elijah uh, has family from the hotel business, so he oh doesn't, yeah. doesn't put with shit in hotels. Yeah, uh, he yeah, knows. yeah. Oh, he does. So he knows what the yeah, rules yeah. and regulations are. He knows to are. look. He knows what to say. Uh, okay, he's, he's, he's got bringing out the blue light over the yeah, bed and exactly. shit. Okay, I don't know if he goes that far. but well, maybe he. You does. never know. Yeah. You never know. Maybe he's got the fucking blue light. It's Elijah. You could. <laughs> I wouldn't bring that. blue. I, I don't. I would just. Well, say you wouldn't. Whatever. It's Elijah we're talking about. Yeah, but I don't want to know. No, I don't want to. I would. I'd like to remain in blissful ignorance. Fair on enough. Subject, yeah. I wanted to ask you a question. We're talking about clutches before. You didn't have a favorite. Do you have like a one that you wish you had won? Oh, don't do this. Everyone has a one they wish they would have won. I and can. Th- I can answer, name it. I can name it. We answer. can all name it. No, but there's got to be. You want to say it on three? What's it? Who the opponent it's, was? They discussed it before hundred percent. Just to. No, no, no. We didn't. We absolutely uh, did not. This actors, guys. Just look. look it's how simple. Count us into three. We'll say the team that lost I, it against. I think three, you could do some three. Two, one, and, and, and yeah. the X seven clutch. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think it wouldn't change a lot. Maybe we'd probably we'd still probably lose final, but against the Stratus. Yeah. If uh, I win and we change the game, like everything changed and we win the whole best of three, but still it was yeah. 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 Do you think? No, just a miss. You yeah. have one that you wish you But won? I felt. Uh, <laughs> I have a lot I wish I won. I felt a lot of pain, you know, after I lost this. Yeah. I breathe in, like, breathe. And after I. How to say? Breathe out? Exhale. 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 Like, huh? Exhale. 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 Yeah. I felt so much pain in all this body. A lot of pain. Yeah. It was very painful. Yeah. But still, it's not a painful moment. <laughs> No, the painful moment in the was, moment uh, it was painful, when we lost uh, MLG Columbus. That yeah. was a painful. You guys the most painful. You guys we were winning that. 59 on Mirage. <sighs> I've never. On first map and on second map. 15, you guys were up like. Five. Yeah, it was, it was worse on the second map. And I don't know how you guys let those slip, but I've, I've never heard an arena go that quiet after that Cold Zero shot. I've never heard an arena go from fucking insanity to just zero. Yeah. Not to relive it, but. Yeah, yeah but I'm, I mean. You, could you feel it as you felt it as a player? We weren't using a booth at that one either. You, should, you guys surely noticed it. What was it? What was the atmosphere? I'm just happy like? that it actually happened. You know. Yeah. I'm. I'm sure it's, without this moment, I wouldn't be who am I. You know. Okay. Right what do you now. think it would have done to your career? Huh? What do you think it would have done to your career if you had won them? Like, if you, what do you if think you it had made it to changed? the finals of that major, would you have stayed in liquid? I think we would probably win this final, to be honest. But you know that Navi, that, uh, they were practicing a lot on this tournament, before this tournament, and they were crushing everyone, everyone yeah. until they face LG. And LG broke them. I, well, I remember... Like they broke them after first map. I don't know if you everyone have any... Everyone was so tilted. Do you have any information on this? I remember... Um, well, I, I heard about that, but I also... That was the event Guardian like uh, hurt his wrist as well. Yeah, but uh, my source says that uh, some teammates said it was fake info, you know. Okay. He wasn't actually hurt. Yes. No, he hurt, but not that that he... Not to the degree. I mean, yes. when we get yes. that information that someone hurt their wrist in the gaming, it's like headlines. Okay, so it's we, like... There it's, were like it's, doctors it's, being interviewed by news outlets. But it's like half of them think it's not, not, not like fake, but... Like it's it, yeah exaggerated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Other yeah. house yeah. think that uh, yeah it actually yeah interesting. But no, probably no. You know, we we heard immediately. I mean, we heard when we went to a piss between maps, casting it that that Navi was tilted off the face of the earth. But like, what does that mean? Like, why? What does that does that still happen now? Common in like pro CS? Like, I remember back in the day when some of my guys would shut down. 
right? Is that what we're talking about here? Are we like how bad would the fighting get? Do you have like examples of how like bad people would be going at each other or people just not talking? What do you mean? Like, you like talking about people being tilted. Do you mean like they're like bickering or they're not communicating or like they're what, like... What? I think it's different now. Okay. I think uh, right now you're just uh, losing confidence in your moves. Okay. That's it. You're just not doing... Automatically, you're just doing wrong decisions. Well, I think too, like in, in, in Counter-Strike if now, like everything else, being able to lose is a skill almost, right? Like being able to lose and handle it emotionally... Not like you know you you don't get you get good at losing, but like you get good at handling losing between games and in series. Yeah, but like the tilting is normally because like people are like the thing that's, that would make me tilt, and this is kind of bad. But if you practice something for so many hours, and some guy still asks you what the fucking strategy is in spawn, it's like, bro, we spent fucking hours practicing this. Like I understand we're in the official, and we need to look past it. Well, as an end game leader, you're always like, I have to remember five people's jobs on this. Fucking yeah, like strategy. I know your entire strategy. And especially and you when you, especially when you're discussing this uh, before a game, like five, six hours before a game. Yeah, yeah, like hey guys, we're go, gonna run this tactic. Yeah, you go through your game plan, and you know that first by round you do this, second this. If you lose, you do this. If you win, you do this anti force. Yeah. And if someone forget, yeah, but. Uh, Sometimes when someone doing the same mistakes that you discussed previous day, previous official day, and he repeat it again or forget, this one's the most frustrating. Yeah. Yeah, I, I see that. Like, I think the thing is, like, for you go through, like, a certain checklist of things as you, through your head as a player, or at least you should, in my mind. Like, as a, somebody who's an in-game leader, mm-hmm. the things I'm thinking about is, okay, so what money do we have available as a team? What type of buy can we get with what type of buy? What type of strat can we run? Okay, who, do, who needs a drop? Who has the best spawn? What is possible here? You're thinking about all these things as an in-game leader, whereas another player is just waiting kind of to be told what they're doing in this thing. But like good players already know what spawn they have, already know what thing they can do, already know how they can approach these situations. So it's like, I don't know. I, I, I think that knowledge is more widespread. No, it is now. It is, it is now. now. Like not, it def- not back in like if 2016. If you don't know that now, time, I yeah. think like players of now probably have an in-game leader brain of back when I played. I would yeah. say most players should have the in-game leader level of brain of what happened back in 2015 or 2016 in terms sure. of like, you know, considering what to do for their teammates, understanding their reactions. Like now Counter-Strike is about knowing so much in terms of decisions. Like it's fucking crazy. It's about knowing all the options you have in front of you at any yeah. point. And yeah. like some people come more naturally too, which like to simple for somebody who actually is someone who defines these fucking things. It's, you know, it seems like it's all second nature. Yeah. But to somebody like me, who's a bit of a fucking spud. I Back have to, in this, it was way too straightforward. Yeah. yeah. It, was, it was much simpler, which is yeah. why people could, could take advantage of our mistakes because we made so many fucking more. Yeah. Like it was crazy. Like of course they were getting orped on every corner because we were playing it like a bot. Like, what were we doing? You were playing like a bot. Yeah, that's what I mean. <laughs> I mean me. Like, that's what I'm talking about. I'm not, I'm not talking about you by any stretch. That's why you were fucking owning Bro, us. When I joined uh, Hellraisers 2015. Hold on, I'm 14, moving 15. this, I'm moving this, I'm moving this. I remember I was jumping from uh, window on Mirage with Op. Yeah. Under window to pick underground. Yeah. Against Eco. And Angel, why the fuck you jumping against Eco under window Mirage? And I'm like, really? Why the fuck I'm doing this? Oh, because you're so confident in the fight, you're gonna yeah, win, it, of course. Yeah, but yeah. if there are two people, sometimes they kill you. Yeah. They take up, you lose round because of this, and after you understand. understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, no, but that's the thing. Like, I used to get mad at a guy. I got mad at a guy who pushed fucking like window on Inferno into second mid against an eco. This is back in Source, you know. Like, so like we only had Deagles on the other side. You, you know, that's a good fight for the T's, really. You lose an M4 and then it's a 4v5 and then they can take me control. It's like, man, like, let's just not lose against stupid shit. Let's just, you know, kind of do the standard stuff that yeah. we, you know, play by the book. You'll have moments to get crazy yeah, if you, you want Yeah, you can them. get crazy. Yeah. There's nothing wrong plenty, with that. Plenty Everyone of times can get break fucking crazy. 6-2, Imperial, third map, T side, overpass, probably going to win. Right now, could be an eco victory for the Cyclone. 3v2 situation, simple, take it away. Yeah, so... Uh, <laughs> yeah, easy round for Imperial. <laughs> Use Henny. Not gonna. Oh, they're not clearing jam. Young go are inside they? short. He's not clearing okay. jam. Easy, easy round jam. for Chinese. Here we go. Guys. Bang. <gasps> Wait, 1v1. It doesn't matter. Call it simple. Jam Yang. You got the highlight. Jam Yang. He needs just diffuse 10 seconds. What, 10 yes. second diffuse? The against guy. bolts no oh. way oh no way no yes. way. I remember no. Boobish D is the same. Oh. Boobish is the same. <laughs> no. On the same map, on the same position. No. No, fucking hell. 
but it was pretty, like it. it was, I liked it. Yeah, it was probably the call. Yeah. Damn, Bolt's real happy with that one. How uh, speaking, not interesting game, guys. <laughs> speaking of Boomage, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Do you do you think that Navi team had a chance to to build an era? Could that? Of course, of you, course. You think that Navi team would have been able to do it? Yeah, but it's most likely because of four, not because of Boomage. Yeah, I understand that. Um, Everything changed. But when the feeling changed. in the team at that point was just like we yeah, can we can yeah. dominate. With Boomage, it was a bit uh, later mm-hmm. when uh, a lot of stuff happened with. His fiance. So, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, her. I'm oh, sorry, man. It's a funny story. Like, yeah, it's, it's like, funny. I'm sorry, dude. Like, I'm going to talk about this candy. I'm not, I, I, so whatever. As soon as. When he, it happened at the major and I'm watching it happen, I went, this is the worst fucking thing I've ever seen in my life. Like, I said I'm the sorry, same man. Thing like, to it's Jane. like. It's like, it, this doesn't need to happen, Boomage, yeah. bro. Like, please, man. He didn't ask. I imagine he didn't ask anybody if that was a good idea. When I saw it on this. I heard he asked. I wasn't he at, asked. I wasn't at cool. that. It was like someone told me that before the match, he also told like, if we're going to win, I'm going to oh, do this. No, 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 no. Not to on, any man. of our teammates. Okay. Come I know, on, just man. watching at or home maybe. and seeing that happen. I don't know. It was just, oh, Now no. I have a lot of questions. <laughs> <laughs> bam, bam, bam. <laughs> Mercury. Again. It was, just, one, it was just one of these things that's like, it's, you're swept up in the moment of something great in your life that you're, you're bringing something else in your life into this. And uh, like, I'm who am I to judge if someone's in love? But I don't know, man. Like, it's, well, it's now tainted, isn't it? Uh, yeah, the major is. It's tainted, now tainted actually. for him. The major for is him. tainted. Not that's for you true. guys, but for yeah, him. Whenever true. he thinks on that, he's gonna think of that. Yeah, it's tainted. Yeah. That's true. It sucks, yeah. Oh, oh, boomage. So I guess he, we don't need to talk about it because the damage is done. Yeah, we don't really need to. Is this guy doing my Molotov actually? <laughs> my my Molotov. How's Counter Strike nowadays? Is it is it good competition? What's it been like now that because as <clears throat> Chad's mentioned with CS2, there is this like limbo period. Is is Counter Strike is CS:GO competition still? Oh, here's the question, Jason. Yeah, are you still going to be fucking good in CS2 or what? <laughs> Shit. Like, what's yes, go- I think yeah? So, yeah. You still going to earn? Yeah, just need to spend a lot of time. Okay. I'm preparing myself to spend a so lot of time. So you're about to grind. You're about to go into Counter Strike yeah. fucking hardcore mode. Yeah, new to fucking the understand chamber. settings, old settings, new yeah. binds. Yeah. All of this. So you ha- that's the thing. This is this is yeah, what we've the most been crazy. Doing. You don't know if it's a finished game. You yes. Because even if they do official games, they're still gonna do updates to fix. Yes. Uh, some yeah, bugs. you don't know what's changing, yeah, what's sticking, and, you and what's. You always need to fucking. Yeah. 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 Like right now, like something sh- shit that I hate is like, for example, on ancient the spawns are shit on the T side now. Like I don't, I don't like it. So it's like yeah, my, really all my, you. all my, all the stuff, all the timings are different. So you have to. But are they going to change the spawns? Who knows? Like the way that the smokes work right now, are they going to change the duration? Like the you know all these details. Are they going to keep updating that shit? So it's like, are you learning something that is temporary, or are you learning something that like is actually a good skill to learn? Are you already thinking about ways you can blow smokes open and use it to your advantage? It's yeah, it's. Easy. You just go anywhere you go. You just do you, do. you think it's going to be like a, a meta change, like team wide, or do you think it'll be just more another tool for an individual play? Just tool for individual play. Okay. You're just gonna all all of the players gonna buy Nate now, and gonna drop uh, additional flash on spawn. Yeah. They're gonna use Nate at the beginning to get entry. Would you rather um, use Nate for damage or Nate for smoke or situational? Nate for smoke. Yeah, on but both sides. It's fifty fifty. It's 50, 50. So what, like, which side on is it more side, effective? On T side, I would probably use smoke to, dis- uh, to use net to disappear smoke. Okay. On CT side, I would, of course, do damage, damage to the night. Yeah. Like okay. on Anubis, for example, from CT. Yeah. To okay. stairs. To so. stairs, early, early chip damage. Banana. And only to stairs. Where else? Just for On Anubis, maybe. not really, anywhere? On Inferno, on Inferno, I would probably Banana. use more damage. Banana. ST, I would use for damage as well. Hmm. Yeah. So situational. Yeah. Yeah. You still have to make a choice. The smoke disappears sometimes, like for one and a half, two seconds, and it's enough, like for a city to hold it. Also, it's know. actually it's 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 not very forgiving either. If you throw it too deep or too shallow, it only blows open it half the smoke. It needs to be smoke. a well placed yeah. HE. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes like it's, it's it can blow exact. only half. Yeah. yeah. You want to reward skill with it, right. so that's what I think they're doing. Which is a cool because at the, at the when we tested it, it wasn't like that. It was it was just boom. Yeah, but the smokes were also much different when we tested it. True. So they've changed the smokes a lot, which is nice. The smokes. Yeah. Are I like the place. smokes a lot. And they're probably gonna change more. Yeah, I hope yeah. so. But this is like when CS:GO first came out; they changed a lot. 
right? Yeah. When I was playing back in the day, there was this underscore CE or SE maps, remember, with the fog. Yeah. 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 So we've. The like, good old days, we called it. We've seen what Counter Strike's been like. I think it's going to be okay. Like, I, I don't know if there's. I don't know. Do you like the, the models moving like this simple? Like the fucking torsos doing fucking this shit? What do you think about that? You like the dancing? I mean, it's fine. It's fine. I just don't like fucking this tick rate thing, you know? The tick rate? 64. So the fact it's locked on 64. Yeah, sometimes they're moving like, I don't know, like a not real game. So Sometimes you destroy <laughs> fucking textures. Yeah. Like uh, in window. The vent? Yeah, like you destroy the vent. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's not real. It feels like your bullet not connected to this vent. It's like, okay. it's... It's fake, you know. Misplaced. I gotcha. Yeah. It's like yeah, fucking okay. WWE. You're watching uh, UFC and okay. WWE. Okay. Something like this. I see. Okay. So if they can, like I don't, this is the thing. And I know this seems like a weird concept, but if they can make the game feel more like 128 tick, but it wasn't 128 tick, like it, that's what we're looking for, right? Is the yeah. fe- is the feeling. We want it to be more responsive. Yeah. Because right now the game doesn't, that's the thing that's being... Like, the numbers are placebo. Can yeah. they replicate yeah, it? Yeah, they need to do good movement. Good movement. One of the best things that people like, it's movement. Sure. When you move, when you can practice the whole movement. So Any t- hope is bad right now in CS2. Okay. In CSGO, it's perfect. I mean, <laughs> it's huge difference, huge so that's the thing, Counter, like, Counter-Strike Go right now feels very natural for people because it's been refined now over such a long period of time. Like the way that a lot of the mechanics in the game are now have been this way for a, for a long time. It has felt been, really good for a while. There haven't been updates on this yeah. stuff in, in like a, you know, a decent chunk. So yeah. it's, it's one of these scenarios where it's hard, I, 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 I know it's hard for them to replicate it, but they need to. Like that's the thing. Like if you're replacing the game, it'd be yeah. But I think it's going to be easier to replicate it in CS2 than it was to create it in CS:GO. You Probably. know, like they have yeah, they yeah, have yeah. a decent enough roadmap in, in theory, and it and feels like they're pretty close. More people working on it. They have a lot of more resources than they did back then. You've been playing any okay? Yeah, but I don't think it'll feel the same way as when we switched to CS:GO sure. like 11 years ago, because this transition, I believe, would be a bit more smoother in a way but at the same time the tactical aspect of how every team will have to start from scratch and how people will try to anti strat each other and on like how they can get something out of their pocket at the event for example sure there'll be a lot more of that shit in the like, beginning yeah if you remember the crack of major when for example BIG qualified oh, the, the, jump the crouching bug just yeah. from getting this like buck and you play in front yeah. of three times in the best of one that's hopefully it. teams are more honest with stuff like that especially stuff that's like a clear exploit well I think I think too like remember we've evolved too as like a as an industry to the point where we now see like what the backlash and the punishment can be for well, what it looks like yeah. yeah yeah I think that's true but I don't know. Back, I, I would hope we like have better school. standards in that regard, but maybe we yeah. don't. Maybe we don't. I think we do now, and I and I think too. Like, yeah, those th- there was like a there was like a social construct earlier where like we accepted bugs like that being exploited for a while, you know? Because that yeah, was old school gaming. In one point six, it was like you'd lose like three fucking rounds in WCG if you flashed Flash under, under the, under the box, box of ramp. Week, yeah. Like it, it was a strict penalty back then. Like and it, and those rules, I remember them being enforced. Like. It wasn't like it was, you know, and, and but that was a known one, right? Like when you bring out like random bugs, yeah, like well, they would the be problem. relatively forgiven until someone knew, like dealt with. I guess it the you first need time. to define it. Yeah. yeah, you need to be able to define the bug, which is a is a that's a key point. If you can't define it, then how do you put a ruling on it? Right. Yeah, because yeah. most of the ones that have been exposed during the events, they've been banned straight away. Yeah. Like imagine the all of booths and then yeah. this like BIG thingy because all the teams then agreed that they will not use it till the end of the yeah. event. I wonder if uh, like. Much- yeah. yeah, I was gonna say, how much turnover do you think that you guys think there will be from CS:GO to CS2? Like turnover. We, we touched on this. There's like how many how many CS:GO pros? Oh yeah. Do you think won't last a year? It just it depends CS2. on motivation. I think you know? if they want to learn, like because Simple just said it himself, he's like gonna have time to grind the game. It's about grinding like the feeling of the game. Yeah. So if you want to stay a top player and you already understand like how to play top Counter Strike, you can. By the sound of things, if you spend the time, grind enough to but get if the you feel don't, for the game. If you don't spend the time, then I think you're fucked. Well, yeah, I just would be curious of like how many, how many are too old to do that? How many like I don't mentally? Because the, the first thing. thing to go is the mental side. It's right? different. I don't think it's mental. I don't like age. Obviously, plays a factor because historically, it's not age. That's it's case. how much mentally you invest into it. Yeah, but like yeah. so, somebody like me, I don't have, um, you know, like like if I wanted to, if I just decided I wanted to spend all the time playing counter, I could, but I'd be shit. 
right? But if like, say like a fucking snappy was like, okay, everything I'm going to do, I'm just going to invest it into Counter-Strike. We know from the last episode we did, like he's got more of a work-life balance. Right. But if he could spend all his time playing Counter-Strike, he didn't have those other attachments. I don't have those attachments, right? Like there's a clear difference in yeah. how people's yeah. lives are, right? You know, but it's also a clear difference on if people can play Counter-Strike well or not too. Right. So you need to have both. You need to have the like time and a bit like the not... I hate something like you the need attachments. To have, yeah. Because some people want them and some people don't. Yeah. You've got some fucking attachments. I have a couple of attachments. Yeah, yeah, I don't have any attachments. I'm attachmentless. How many attachments you got? You got any attachments? No. No. Zero? One? What is attachments? Obligations, responsibilities like for that, me, that could affect your day-to-day life. My life is this apartment and I water a couple of plants and I talk to my girlfriend. On for the, me, on I have a wife, two life. dogs and a human child. Yeah, he looks after another person. I, look what? After, I have a, a wife, two dogs and a child. So those are my attachments. So what is attachments? Like the, the dependence. Like, the like if I want to... you back home. For, if example, I wanted for me, to, it's my wife and my two dogs that yeah. always waits for me after the event. When if I, I wanted to play Counter Strike for ten hours a day, yes. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to. I know, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, for me, I don't know. Doesn't matter. Let's go. Okay. Cool. All right. You gonna talk about Counter Strike? No. You gonna talk about life? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What are you gonna talk about then? I don't know. Let's talk about football. Yeah. Well, you were watching the Premier League on your phone, right? No, NFL? I just watch highlights. My city against uh, West Ham. So I know nothing about football. Holland sco- scored once again. What do you like about yeah, football? You don't know anything about football as well, right? I know about, yeah, the American football. So he knows nothing about so football. So I know nothing American about your soccer, football. You <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we got the best player in the world I hear over in America right now. Yes, you actually got one. <laughs> Miami. <laughs> but is anybody watching Simple? Yeah, yeah, they are. They're killing it down there. Really? Yeah, yeah. Miami's blowing up with soccer. But right isn't now. it like... Yeah, sub- ticket cost like $25 yeah, before he came. What's now, now tickets for finals was like $600. They're building like a whole new like $100 million sports complex around the soccer team. Football so, team but this is one person that has the interest. It's not yeah. even the team. Well, the same thing happened because yes. um, the same thing happened when Beckham but came few like 10, more, 10, 12, 15 few years ago. few more of his ex-Barcelona uh, teammates came. Sergio Busquets and uh, Jordi Alba. Okay, so it's like a, so it's like a together, deal of sell it, yeah. yeah. And they're just but running the city of Miami. But he got a huge deal from yeah. Apple and from, uh, yeah. from everyone, you know, yeah. to move to United States. So it's actually brought value. So yeah. now he's becoming the most famous person in the whole world. Oh, damn. Soon, soon, in one year maybe. Okay, damn. It's, it's been wild. It's been, there's been like a whole new craze. Why is America so big, Jason? Uh, why are you guys so big why does everyone love America we did a lot of we, we bought a lot of land back in the day so that's we, why people well love we took America. a lot of land we bought a lot of land and, you know, cool I guess we had a we all had we had a whole coast to coast philosophy yeah uh, just taking yeah, everything yeah the start of the country yeah okay yeah. interesting so the, everyone loves America apparently <laughs> fuck it now do you like America <laughs> do you like the food at least yeah like, everyone likes the food the food's like I leave them you live there, yeah, that's true. But that, I lived there too, man. I lived in there a casino so in Las Vegas. Crazy situations. Yeah. In. Uh, well, you were living in Los Angeles, LA. right? Yeah. yeah, Santa Monica, uh, dude, California. I, dude, my, my brother, <laughs> I would never in my life live in Los Angeles. Bro, Santa Monica, and I see some guy, some homeless guy. I think that he's dead. <laughs> so I'm going through my balcony. I was living on the first floor, yeah. and I'm coming to him like, "Hey, man, hey," and he's like. Ah, <laughs> so what's out going of his on, mind. man? And I'm like, oh man, I thought you're dead. No, I'm not dead. I wish I was dead. Fucking and God. I just gave him some money and I just walk away. And there was a few more situations. So I was like streaming till uh, 5 a.m. Yeah. And at 6.30 or at 7, the Starbucks was opening. So I was going to Starbucks for like five, seven minutes walk. And there was some guys... Uh, some uh, rappers <laughs> and they were pointing at me like with weapons it with was actual guns distance. no 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 oh they're finger guns fingers. but okay, I, okay. I didn't see and they're yeah, like, yeah. Bum, bum, bum. I'm like oh, oh. And, like, ha, ha. and I walk away like, and it was so crazy yeah. situation like this that's no, fun A interaction in the morning no it's not fun at all <laughs> no I didn't imagine people so. have guns so a lot of opposite. people have gone and it's actually scary yeah America scary it does seem like a scary place Very I've scary been in place. some places in America that I've been like there's some places I've been I went like a, I went like a part uh, with a previous girlfriend. I went like she sure. was looking apartments in different parts of LA. Okay. Yeah. 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 
yeah for a period of time there sure yeah it does, but i lived in las vegas for a little while in a oh, casino for renegades no, no, no. You guys, you guys live in the wrong place. You guys should come yeah. visit the States. I'm I know a lot of stories take you out to from Colorado. your organization we'll or from other guys who live there. Yeah. Some of them uh, moved to other city because they lost so many, so much money on casino. I, I wasn't gambling. I wasn't gambling. I was yeah, good. maybe not you. Maybe some other yeah, players. Yeah, some of them going teams. ham. Yeah, well, that's, they're going nuts on the fucking yes. gambling. Yeah, the Vegas event was a little weird. When yeah. You, yeah, there was a lot of people having a lot of fun at that. Vegas event. was a strange time, man. Yeah. Did we ever play? Did, we ever play? Did you ever own me? Did we ever play against each other? You had to have. You guys in the official? Yeah. I don't know. Should we you check? Were, you were on Renegades when you were playing. You know, man. You know. You I, don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I swear to God, I don't know. You I were playing remember. when he was on Liquid. You I had bet, to have played I bet I probably got four kills against it. I don't know how I'm going to find this. What team would it oh, be? NA games when I was in Liquid, it was so easy. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe wait, wait. we did play. I I'm going to call you out on that one because so your first easy. few months in NA, you struggled a little bit. Whoa. No, bro. Shit, no, come no, on. Bring up his stats. Let's do it. I'm not bringing up his stats, man. Just at least like talk to the guy about it, man. Talk to the guy about it. <laughs> you had you. I remember casting some of your games in NA, and look. In fairness, with the context of you now being one of the best of all time, you might have been flexing a couple of things. Maybe, but maybe you were I doing wasn't. so many crazy things, probably due to overconfidence. I actually need to watch my demos from first games. Oh, I, re- I remember watching a couple games of Mirage where you would do the shit like you just mentioned, just where you would remember, jump out a window and take a fight. And I, I just, just don't remember what was my mentality against NA teams back in the days when I was like 18 years old or 19. Yeah. Something like this. Just yeah, it was it was still very... I mean, in the... Con- like that, you were still so early in your career. That was twenty late 2015. Yes, yes. Yeah, second half of 2015. Yeah, second half yeah. till 2016 first half. No, yeah. till 2016 second half, yeah. That was, that was wild times. Man, there's so many games to go through here to see. I, it's easier going through my games than his because I played sure. so few games. But I wonder when we would have played. Like, you, were you at the ESWC in Montreal? Of course. Yes, yeah, so that's where Hiko you played. You flip side with right? Hiko. Yes. Yeah. So let me see if that one's here. Uh, Hiko is, the American was ringing for a Ukrainian I think we, we didn't play against you. No, I don't think so either. I'm, but I'm trying to, uh, to be around 24? that time, time he was period, instead right? instead of Russian player. He was instead of Ortega. Yeah. So it was me, Blade. Uh, Blade was playing at that time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Blade yeah. was definitely Blade. playing at that time. It was my last tournament, last ever game with Blade. It's flip side. Yeah. yeah. So after our loss in semifinal against Navi, I trash talked him and Mark Hill. <laughs> so it was me, Blade. Uh, Bondic, maybe. Bondic, Hiko. You guys cause an, who'd you and guys, Markelov. Who did you guys yes. beat at that event? You guys, we beat, beat, you guys beat a big team. Yeah, we yeah. beat an AP in quarterfinal. And we beat a few other teams. Yeah, you one had, other team. That was a, I remember that was a wild fucking tournament seeing you guys make that run. Yeah, that was night game. On, oh, yeah, we played, I think, Cloud9 on Cobblestone. How do you, like you like playing in Liquid at the time? How do you like playing for like a North American team back then? At Liquid? Yeah. In Liquid? Nice, that was nice. Yeah. But it was so bad practice because first of all we had different time zone, so I live in. Uh, you were still practicing from Europe. No, no, no. Uh, at the beginning, yes, but after I moved. Oh, when you were in Los Angeles. Yes, yeah. yes. When I was in Los Angeles, my practice was starting at uh, three, maybe. Yeah. So when it's uh, yeah. three p.m. in LA, in New, New York, on the East Coast, yeah, shit. six p.m. We did. So play. where is better, like where is uh, higher time? In East Coast, uh, New York. New York is yeah, later. Yeah. Yeah, so I always ahead. finish my practice earlier or later. It doesn't matter. Yeah. But I had a lot of free time. And yeah. I was always playing and streaming. Here you go. Oh, shit. He's found it. <laughs> Share with the class. You're going to be botting out and simple. I was only middle of the pack. I was botting out there. <laughs> Who top frags? Flamey? Uh, I don't know. No, no, no. This was on Back Liquid. He, he was on Liquid. He could a Nitro simple life. Ah, oh, it's my last tournament in Liquid. Oh, bro, we have to talk about that for a second. Yeah. Why'd you ruin my boy Kusa's career? <laughs> <laughs> I have to I have to ask you, why'd you do this to him? Kusa. <laughs> He's looking at who else so they play. The He's Kusta? looking at the tournament. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it was Luka Qualifiers. Yeah, 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 online. In NA, because I was living in NA at the same time as you. What? Team 1 won against Cloud9? What the fuck? I think I played Cloud9 Kusa, man. What what do you want to hear about? Why did you kill his career? <laughs> Why did you destroy him in such a way? What was wrong with Kusta? I don't remember, man. No? I have bad memory on like from these days how everyone played. I don't remember how no, it was so Nick played how uh, But I loved I look, I'll be honest, you're the thing where you have everybody in the room and you're asking Freakazoid why is being a why you know why why is bullying you? 
Like that thing right there, that moment, you know the moment? Why yes. you believe yeah. it? But that right there, that going on, man. Like you as somebody who's living in a foreign country, like it's got to be fucking weird, dude. Like to be interacting with people like that, isn't it? Like on the other side of the world, yeah, like it's yeah, fucking strange, yeah. man. Yeah, but it's normal. Like I don't feel like, uh, I never feel, um, how to say, abida, abida. Intimidated? Out of place. He never feels offended. Oh, really? Okay. I feel offended like from something like this, you know? Yeah, okay. So what, you just, you don't, you just take people He as doesn't well. take it personal, for example. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah, because I know that I'm higher than this, you know. You okay? You hold yourself to a higher standard, better, or you're better, better than, than this? Yeah, of course. Of yeah. course sometimes I can be angry on some stupid stuff, or when I understand that my mentally and physically things tired, you know, yeah. inside me, and I can react on this, not even thinking about this, like fuck you or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But usually, when you in good shape, you just understand that, like, it's you cannot waste time on this. Yeah, you it's not worth the energy. Time, nerves, energy, yeah. yeah. All this. Is this like just like the simple philosophy or this like things that have been imparted on you by like teammates or people in your life? Like, do you read a lot? Do you like, you know, to think about these things or do you just think about these things? Because like some How people... How did you develop this Some people read, some people go like on long yeah. walks and they, you know, like, or did you... Is this something you've like... I think it's uh, my experience about people. I'm putting this life. back here, man. I want people to hear this. It's I think important it's my experience, experience. I know that I can read people, you know. I love yeah. to read emotions. Sometimes when people don't show me emotions, especially when I play with them, especially online. For example, if I play on Face It, like back at the days when I was like toxic, and uh, when I play on boot game with mm -hmm. my players, or even when I play a normal game, but I can see emotions of people, it's much easier for me to understand that they are sad because they did some mistakes. Or, or when I explain to them that they did stupid mistakes, I want to see how they're going to react. Because sometimes when it's online, you, don't, you never see emotions. And sometimes people like me, I will say like, okay. And sure. it's, it's not enough for you to understand what the person, like sometimes you want to understand that the person that you want to help understand his uh, problem or his fault. Sure. You, Of course, you want him to fix the problem. And you know that he knows he wants to fix it. So but you want to see a, it. But it, you want to see it. It's coming from a position of like um, empathy? Right, yeah. like in a in a way that like it's an yeah okay I see I I, I you need to see that he understands yeah. and that he's but accepting. it's because it's because that's like, my opinion it's just yeah no yeah. no just but me. but the way that you're talking to them like has value right like you're what you're what you're trying to talk to them about is something that can help them right like it's it's something that you think can, will provide them in their situation value when they're in that situation of course Next, but sometimes you need to know how to ask for help as well you know yeah not a lot of people ask for help. So That's true. Some people want to handle by themselves. What do you... Okay. I think it's not working in life like this. If yeah. you want to achieve something like big, you always should have a team. No matter what you're doing. Team. Crew. Yeah. <laughs> it's like not People one you person. trust, right? It's not one person. Yeah. yeah. Of course, people you trust, people you love, people you have fun with. So people like you want to achieve something with. So it's usually like two, three, four, five, more thousand people. Yeah. Crew. <laughs> So like with you, that's essentially what you're building with a team, though, right? Yeah, it's it's like you're building in your life in anything you do. So with the Counter Strike, I guess it's more of a professional relationship than a like you want to be you want to have natural things with people. But it, do you think you have to be friends with te with teammates to be a good team? I think uh, some people say it's either you're professionals. So you have like some fines, you cannot be late, something like this, or either your huge friends. But I think it should be something between this, you know? Okay. I think you should always have fun. If you need to get drunk, all of the players, to talk about some mistakes or just because you're drunk, you say something you could never say when you're... Sure. Maybe it's needed, you know? Maybe yeah. it can fix automatically some something. You yeah. never know. Yeah, okay. Yeah, all right. I like that. I, I mean, mean, I'm not saying that you need easier. to get like 100% drunk, but a couple no, but I, I glasses of wine and you just become more open. You open it up a little bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, used I to mean, that's how our bodies for so. Yeah. I used to be in teams. So like back in, um, like when I, in, I was a professional source player in the championship gaming series in 2008, right? So back then there was like a televised league mm -hmm. uh, 
and <laughs> I went to America to yeah. So this is a long time ago, right? But it was a thing, and it was it was like back then it was a pretty big deal. Like it was the main focus in Counter Strike. It made Counter Strike shit because it changed the rules. The rules sucked. It was MR nine. You started with six. Everything about it sucked. Yeah. It all sucked. It was all for television, right? It fucking sucked. But anyway, I was a part of this. I was only eighteen at the time, right? And I played in this thing, and it was it was also fun because I got to go around the world. You know, I was fucking the chicks from the British team, and you know, like there was you know there was. There was a lot going you on at the, the Playboy time. Mansion? Was a, no, I wasn't at the Playboy Mansion. You weren't Mansion. at the Playboy Mansion? No, no, no. That was first season, right? The first okay. season was the Playboy Mansion. And you played like shit, am I right? No, no, no. It had nothing <laughs> had it had nothing to do with uh, with how I played, right? Like it's got nothing to do with like anything like that. No, no, no. Mm. I I actually forgot where I was going with this. What was he talking about before? You were talking, about, you were talking about the experience of being with friends, game, hanging out, getting nine. drunk with a bunch of people. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And my teammates back then, the way that we would talk about things were a lot more um straight to the point. So my teammates had the reputation, so they were in it. It was two seasons, but I was only in it the second season. So the first season that it happened, the guys, they were, there was two sets of brothers. So mm-hmm. like there was two teammates, they were brothers, and two other teammates, and they were also brothers. And they got in these big fights about like how to play the game and everything. And there was one, like they had each other like pinned against the wall, and they're yelling at each other, like mm-hmm. ready to fight each other. And even when I joined the team, there was like big emotional fights like that. There was stuff where like people are like, yelling at each other. I remember one time, there was a British Counter-Strike player called Rattlesnake, and an American Counter-Strike yeah, no. player called uh, Clown. And we were in... <laughs> and there was a guy called... There was also... The, also Snake and Clown. And there was also Fatality. Do you like Fatality, the Quake Girl, player, right? So we were, we were at the Championship Gaming Series in Fatality's room. Uh, and we were playing Nintendo fucking Cube or whatever it was fucking back then. GameCube. We were playing Mario Kart on that. Yeah. And for whatever reason, these two were going to play each other in the final, simple. It was going to be those two teams versus each other in the final. And they got, started fighting in Rattlesnake's room, like yelling at each other, like, I'm going to fucking just like... Just, and they were having like a verbal fight. In the, and this is like... It was like that all the time back Old then. Old school counter yeah. It's fucking insane. We had yeah, cool like, story, bro. Cool story. Bro. Yeah, well, I don't know. It was fun. I, don't know, I, I feel like a bit offended by that. I thought, <laughs> I thought it was a good story. Nice try, bro. It's good. It's good people. Bro, you know? I was destroying Rattlesnake at the beginning of CSGO. Yeah, well, because he was fucking <laughs> old then. I remember his... Uh, these fucking flag. kids these days, man. Bro, I was destroying him so easy. These fucking kids these destroying days. Destroying him so easy. Respect. You know, they look at he probably respects some of the guys he grew up, you know, looking at. Who were, did you have any idols like when you were coming up through Counter Strike, like from the oh, old Forest? Or... Forest. Yeah. Forest. Yeah. Well, he's fucking one of the guys. Yeah, that's legit. Yeah. Yeah. Like simple's simple's in the conversation with the Forest, the Neos, like of the one point six days, not yeah. the CS. Yeah. So many stories to tell. Yeah. Javi always uh, look there is YouTube video simple against Javi. Against who? JW. JW. Yeah. And he was saying I would never achieve anything. Every team kick you, you would never achieve, bam, bam, bam. And my English was suck back in the day, I couldn't understand that he was actually trash talking. Yeah? Do you want to pause this and we can start when you come back? No, no. No? I'm just telling you, I, I mean, people hear me, right? Well, maybe, hopefully. Yeah, maybe. AI can increase volume. I hope so. The AI is going to have to do a lot of work this episode. I'm just saying that it was, uh, it was nice when I achieved something. Yeah. Sure. And all his... Was yeah, it was worthless. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, fair enough. We all have that story, though. <laughs> I think every pro player, Rops had that story, too. Uh, yeah, Rops was accused of cheating. Yeah. yeah. Where he finally accomplished things, and it was like, yeah, everything's validated. Everything's so when validated. You're gonna, uh, po- when are you going to post this podcast? Tomorrow. In YouTube? Instantly? Yeah. Do you have some people who work for you? Like, no. Uh, no, it's just us. No, like the idea with this show is like it's a raw conversation with people. So who's doing montage all of this? Year? Montage? Yeah. AI. AI. <laughs> <laughs> no, really? Yeah, no, Otherwise, actually. You believe robots too much. They're good. The robots are good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, they're wonderful. They do the audio editing, they do the Why clip do creation. Do this if you want to do something, it should be like on high level. So the reason we you do it is. Person who, mind you, should have a person who will set up everything. So I simple. <laughs> I wish. Wait, come back and yell at us in the microphone. Yeah, no, I want him to talk here. Come back and yell at us in the microphone. He like that right there is. Yeah, microphone, guys. Put up your microphone. So the next one's gonna work. Let's go. Well, the, I think the headsets are quite nice. These are yeah. some of the best headsets. You yeah. Know? Uh, what we're doing oh is it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a slow progression upwards, simple. We, yeah, like step yeah. at a time. Remember, this setup has to step travel. The this setup has to move around the world every week. Yeah, well, we're losing it right now. Yeah, so we, we'll take our slander and <laughs> no one will have heard anything he said. Is he, are you coming back? 
Yeah. Okay, yeah, he's coming yeah, back. He's coming back. He's coming back. Oh, fuck it. No, I didn't expect to get berated by Simple this evening on the it's podcast. Been he, he was doing it at the hotel. He brought up the camera thing at the hotel Why? before he left. I don't know. He said, I saw I saw Sponge's camera <laughs> <laughs> four months ago. And it was shit. <laughs> Does he have a better camera now? And I was like, I don't know. I think so. We bought a new one a while ago, like a month ago, two yeah, months ago. Well, it's 4K. Dallas, it's, yeah. a fucking, it's a 4K webcam, Jason. <laughs> you know? like, That's what I said. I was, I was like, wait. It's a couple we, hundred bucks. <laughs> Where does he think I fucking made a money or some shit around here? I don't know. I'm pro player salary yeah, fucking hell man just AI to pick you on the webcams i'm trying to make i'm trying to make ends meet okay you know i'm trying to <laughs> <laughs> you can barely put new fucking liners in your bin <laughs> oh shit <laughs> fucking hell jesus joseph and mary another close game of counter who would have thought i love it the, the asians <laughs> are up 11 to 9 all the rounds hugo's video couldn't be more right could it? all the rounds it lands now especially 16 14 or a score of the likes <laughs> Counter Strike all the time, forever all day, and ever, all week, all year, twenty four seven. It's true though. It's fucking like that's the thing. But the, it's interesting because a lot of the concepts that he's talking about, like he looks at them so blasé. Right? Well, you you were guys were touching on this before the podcast went live, and I I feel this a lot these days. Obviously, um, like the things that like when you play Counter Strike every day as a professional for like six, eight, ten hours a day. Like you, you lose those steps that where things no longer come naturally. Like for yeah. you, it's like decision making in the game doesn't come as quick and as naturally. Yeah, for me, it's, not it's as like intuitive. when I even sit down at a PC, it's like the feeling of sitting at a mouse and sure. keyboard isn't natural yeah, yeah, out of yeah, the yeah. gate. Like every time I play Counter Strike, it's like getting used to the setup. So like you lose those steps progressively as you go. So when he talks about those concepts, and even even with like the smoke grenades and like names of smokes, when he's talking about new new teammates, when I when I joined Liquid as a coach, it was like the first thing I had to catch up on was like these guys having a conversation about Counter Strike, being like, no, what happened was they threw the Fnatic smokes and then they threw actually the sure, LDLC smoke and connector understand. and then actually the, the Fnatic the Fnatic flashbang came out over here and like I'm sat there and I'm like 30 seconds behind the conversation and that's like a huge learning curve to like catch sure. up. You had to step up. Yeah, yeah, you have to like learn it like really quick and it's almost like taking notes on just, it's like I told the guys like it was like speaking a new language for the first like month it felt like. Yeah. You know, because then, then you extrapolate it to seven maps. And I don't think like pr- like people don't always understand. I think what what pro players have to know. But I imagine that's why it's hard coming in. Huh? Yeah, no, no, yeah, we were talking about that. Twelve nine. Who would have thought? But it's one of these things when you come in as a coach, right? You you need to make you if you come into an established team, you're in that position. Yeah. If you're the person who gets to decide how the teams run, which right. is essentially what Blade has done over time, right? Yes. Like Blade only has simple left from the original pieces of when he joined, right? As a coach. Like Bit wasn't there when he initially joined. Bit came sure, in yeah. afterwards, yeah. right? So everyone else is new. So because the other three are completely well, and don't talk about the benefit of having, uh, I would assume, having the back of, of Simple as the star player of the team. Well, right? yeah, that's like, a luxury that's a that everybody would like to have. Not every be, coach. Gets. It must be nice to be the <laughs> yes. coach of, a, of you know one of the best Counter Strike players of all time. That sure. must be quite nice. Yeah. I would imagine that's a good feeling. Yeah. Yeah. I would take that. Yeah. If yeah. I could if I could have a choice, if you said to me, Hey Chad, you can coach this team or you can coach this team with one of the best counter players of all time, I'd be like, Yeah, well, fuck, 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 fuck it, I'll do it. Probably fucking take that one. Xonix yeah. having he had device, now he's got now he's got Zywood. Yeah, that's true. That's he has a good a time. two two big names. Yep. He has a two big names. Successfully I would, well, yeah, successfully I would say he's won majors with both of them. That's quite good. Twelve to nine, three round difference. Now simple taking a look. He sees the old flower pots. By the way, you see it here on flower. When you sit here, first of all, when flash pop out, the guy who's going behind rock, he don't see the guy on top of lock, on top of this flower, yeah. because you sit. And after you stand up, when you get unblind, and you kill the guy behind rock. So you're playing you for the flash. You're, playing you're letting for yourself the, you're get flash, luring himself into the trap. Yeah, okay. Luring him into the trap. Yeah. Well, Simple is just talking about being crouched on the flower pot with the flash. Well, they will uh, write my book, guys. Simple will write a book as well all for those. All about Counter Strike or about life? No, about about life, I guess. About life, okay. An autobiography. Counter Strike has been life for a long. Yeah, I suppose yeah. that's true. I like that, there's a lot of uh, allegories you could do there. That is true. What do we got? Twelve to nine. There are so many stories. Ooh. Simple. Who's the best player you play against these days? Of course, he's going to say Taiwu. No. Of course, yes. Or yeah. Nico. I was going to say Nico. Is Nico no, in the no, conversation? Zaibu, Zaibu. Nico. More Zaiwu than Nico. Okay. Much sure. more. But is it, Z- is it Zaiwu then Nico or is it Zaiwu somebody else? No, it's Zaiwu. Usually Zaiwu. 
I mean, uh, I don't think it's a very strong competitive scene right now. Okay, interesting. So I just want to play as fast as possible against Vitality again, against Tens, against Heroic. So who do you think is the best team right now? Vitality, of course. Okay. Who's after that? Heroic look like they're struggling Ants, at the moment. Ants. You think Ants is number two? Yeah. Ants is a lot of fun to watch. What about G2? They won Cologne. It's like uh, top five teams. It's uh, Vitality, first, second, Ants. Third one, uh, let's say G2. Okay. Fourth one right now, Heroic, but Heroic is very shaky. Fifth one, let's say, Face Clan, sixth, Navi. Seven Cloud Nine, eight uh, Mouse Sport. Really, Mouse are eight. Yeah, Mouse is actually playing good. Okay. What do you think of Cloud Nine? Well, hold on. He hasn't got his top ten. He's only okay. got the eight. We're going to top ten. Yeah, we need the ten. So eight one. Who is Mouse? Mouse. Yeah, you said Mouse. Uh, Ninth one. Uh, Astralis maybe. Yeah, Astralis. They're pretty good these days, Astralis. And then. Who's else? <laughs> Wouldn't be NIP by any stretch of no, the imagination. No, no, no. Um, they miss a lot of things. Wouldn't be Furia. Fanatic, big. Furia, wouldn't no, of course be Fanatic. No, no not nice. Wouldn't be big. big. No. Uh, there was like too many teams. Did we say FaZe? I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. FaZe was six. FaZe was six. FaZe was fifth. Okay, so that's Our, not six. six. If you're talking yes. about form and yes. achievements. All Who are we forgetting? Everything what I shall TV have, you know, this criteria. Yeah, it's well, like hard to tell because top 10 these days are like there's Game Religion from their top 2 run from the major yeah. there's Apex yeah but for me Game Religion and Apex shouldn't be in top 10 at all okay what about Virtus Pro mm. that's a weird one to rank yeah, yeah it's hard I would better to put Monte above Virtus Pro so really okay yeah. uh, oh Liquid there's Liquid as well. yeah maybe Liquid 10 it's but it's shaky for them in a, shaky. in a way yeah and we don't get to see him here. We don't league. see, like, it, it's so hard right now. The tournament once per month or, like, once per three weeks. You right want more now. tournaments? Like, <laughs> so we understand who is better, yeah? You would like more? No, I think it's, uh, it depends on, um, on what kind of tournaments we have. Sometimes you have three tournaments in a row, you know, yeah. and they break, like, one, uh, one week between them. And sometimes we have, like, this. We had uh, Abu Dhabi, three weeks, ESL Pro League two weeks or three weeks break again playoff ESL Pro League break again uh, Sydney. Australia Sydney so it's like Would not, you prefer not breaks? that big tournaments you want breaks honest. no it's not that big tournaments there is no good tournaments like so you huge prefer tournaments. more prestigious tournaments this is Colons, this Adovitz, this everything is, what is in yeah the like in a very short at the end of time at the end of winter uh, and at it's, the spring there's and nothing on yeah. it's yeah. the consequence of the loss of the major yeah but this is why Valve are extending the sticker sales simple and just fucking letting you motherfuckers cash Milk in it. the sales yeah, just keep going nothing. man it's not it's a lot of money I heard it's pretty good I heard it's pretty good no man no? Well, I think it probably dies down now. At this point, it's I don't done. Know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think the, the overall haul is it's really been a big, big haul. But I think it's at this slow. point, it's. Vamos, okay. let's go. <laughs> Come on, man. Chinese team, let's fucking go, man. We who, want, who do you want to win? I want to win Cyclone. Okay. And that means Cyclone will be in the uh, playoff match tomorrow at the last game of the day. Against who? Against Apex, so I guess. So in the morning, 9Z versus Apex. So probably Apex win that game. Yeah. So then 9Z versus Cyclone, end of the day. And the middle game is your game. Yeah, so shit system. You agree, guys? Yeah, dog yeah, shit no, fucking it's horrible format. format. Yeah. It's the worst. Yeah. They need to change it completely. I want uh, there's th I want 32 teams. I want eight teams of four groups. Standard best of three GSL format. Top two teams from each group grow through to a 16 Finally team. Finally actually take a shot. Double limit. Long, long tournament. <laughs> You're doing three weeks. One month tournament. Three weeks, three weeks. And then uh, single elimination, 16 team final. Simple. Or I, no, want, not the I want. Player, I want. I want. I want one double elimination bracket. Okay. And thirty-two Counter teams Strikes. double elimination. I want a thirty-two. I, I would love a That'd double be cool. elimination bracket. Thirty-two team I double. I want this uh, Chinese team to be in playoffs every tournament. Why? Something new. Okay. New scene. New fans. The Chinese fans are pretty cool. Yeah, we've always had a good yeah. turnout in China. Yeah, yeah they're always yeah. really nice when we go to China. They're always cool. Are you guys going to CAC? No. 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 no, no. No. Okay, so it really is a quiet end of the year. I asked my team the same question, why we're not going there. Did you want to go? 
Yeah, to Shanghai, of course. Shanghai is really good. I like it's Shanghai too. The top of the Ritz Carlton, one of my favorite places to go. Yeah, You've been there. Actually, a lot yeah. of fans, and like fans that really like it. Yeah, big know? big Counter Strike fans. Yeah, there. yeah. 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 Surprisingly, so they're like yeah. underground Counter Strike fans. Yeah. It feels like it's because we live in Europe. You know, we have a different like internet, different view stuff. of the world. Yeah, we don't see like how they react, how they behave. True, you know? yeah. But in Shanghai, I saw so many fans like, and the crazy fans as well. It's like. It was insane. Yeah, it's like one of the best uh, places that I ever played tournament. But uh, th this, th is there any way you you know you went out that you like? Because we normally when we've been there before, we've been on the Bund, right, on the river. It's yes, a good yeah, spot, yeah, man. It's yes. really cool there. Shangri-La, you been in Shangri-La? That was the one for the first one. Tsak. Ooh, yeah. Tsak yeah, that was for PGL's one. I think. Yeah. See, I wasn't there for the that one. The first one who did Tsak, it was a perfect world. Yes. Mm -hmm. They called Tsak, yes. the one who did uh, international for Dota. Yes. And the first one was uh, in Shangri La. It was insane. I yeah. did the one on like third two floor, weeks later. They had like a kitchen, so yeah. everyone could go any any minute. Yeah. On third floor, and there is like kitchen from different uh, regions, countries, different regions, yeah, yeah. different, different countries. Yeah. From all over and the I world. every day I ate fucking kebab all the time. <laughs> there was like small bread with kebab and some uh, vegetables. Yeah. And it was insane every day. I got like two or three like this kebabs. It is crazy the breakfast yeah. because there was a couple of weeks later from that event there was the ESL one. Yes. Right, and that one was in Shanghai as well, and that one was also at a good a good hotel. It was on the Bund. I remember. I remember because I was at the event and it was we we were in um, like an expo and there was only one game a day. We literally did only one game a day in this big expo hall. Like we'd just go. Okay, like, I wasn't at this. It literally one best of three. That's all it did. I think like yeah. Tyloo versus NRG was the final. I think that's what the final was. But I don't think like the same level of teams were there. But it was the same thing. Like our hotel, our hotel had um, jets that came out of all the different sides. Like it was like, you know, like on the side, like it would, the water would come out on top of you and all around you. I was like a complete, it was in the shower. Yeah, it was yeah. kind of wild. It was really fun. Yeah. And, it was good. I don't know. I've enjoyed my time in Shanghai. Yeah, I have too. I like Shanghai more than Beijing. Yeah, but sure. yeah, yeah. Beijing's different. Yeah, it's just a whole different, different time. vibe. Anywhere else in the world that you've enjoyed going? Simple that lies stuck with you. Uh, you been to Australia before? No, no. First time. Really? You never Bro, you didn't twenty-four even... hours fly. Fuck. Get this. business class, man. You get paid well. What are <laughs> you talking about? Yes, man? I got business class, but it doesn't matter. Is business class is fun? Fourteen Enjoy hour. It. I have two flights. And second flight, 14 hours. Oh, shit. We need to ask you something. I might ask you on the uh, on the show. Maybe I, I shouldn't ask about the show. Something about money, 100%. No, not about, not about money. Not about money. So know, have you seen it. the show match that we run in Australia? It's called The Cashers. Yeah, just do it now. you seen it? Get it in there. Have you seen it? So I can show you some stuff on my phone maybe after. But basically, The Cashers is like a take on this big Australian sporting rivalry. So in Australia, we have a big rivalry with the UK, right? Because they used to, we used to be British. Yes, I know, yeah, yeah. I know all of this. So long story short, we have a cricket rivalry that goes back a long way called the Ashes, right? And it's basically this little tiny thing, and it, like we play every couple of years. Like whoever wins the Ashes is a big deal. It's like national pride because we fucking hate the British and the British hate us. That's kind of how it goes. But we kind of love each other at the same time. So we play cricket all the time. Um, and we did the same thing with Counter Strike, Henry versus me, like in Australia, and the crowd love it. You know what a shoey is? Is anyone else drinking beer from a shoe? Yes. Yeah. So everyone's doing fucking shoeys, chatting, Henry's a wanker. <laughs> Do you know what a wanker is? Yes, He's fucking yes, calling yes, Henry yes. a wanker, fucking cheering all this shit. And we have this match of the Brits, Henry's team versus my team. And we always do these theatrics. One year we had Stewie come out. We had this fucking, we had the lights go off and the music play, a big smoke machine. And the smoke's coming out. This music playing, it's going, it's like the smoke uh, criminal. Smoke criminal. And it, it's like Stewie's thing from his stream going, sup, bitch. And he comes out of smoke and Stewie joined. And it's like wrestling. Where we're doing like a show match. It's like yeah, wrestling, yeah. right? And we did one with Fallen. Fallen comes running out and he like, he's got this mask and he rips off the mask. It's yeah, bad the Fallen. The that uh, Stewie did. Yeah. So we did oh, those. did in Australia? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. This is for the cashers. For the, we did it three times. Now, we want you to be on Henry's team. And because you're fucking simple, the undertaker, we want to do this. We want to get a fucking full-size coffin, wheel the full-size coffin out onto the stage, and you coming out of the fucking coffin with like the undertaker music with a big leather jacket on like the fucking undertaker, and you come out on the stage and you fucking play for Henry's team against my team in the cash. Yeah, but that's what Stewie did. And that's what he He didn't come out of me. a coffin. He came out of smoke. You get a coffin. You get a coffin. Yeah, but you're telling the stories that everyone will know, you know. We can cut this bit out. <laughs> no. Yeah, we can edit this. I can cut this bit out. Also, we could come with a... If you have a better idea. Because well, the thing is, we want you to be in the show. I don't watch too much, but if we're going to play fun. Fun? 
He said if he's going to play final. Where's going to happen? It's oh, in final. Sydney. It's yeah, going to be in Sydney. Sydney. If you're going to play final. Yeah, if you're going to play final, then you don't. Oh, I'm going to play final. Okay, but we'll if see. we if you don't play we'll final, see. do you want to do this? Yeah, we do this. Yeah? Yeah, but I play final. Do you? Okay, deal. Do you? Okay. Shit, it's on cam now. Okay. That's a contractually. That's a contractual handshake. You'll because you know how cool that final. you know because like the Australian fans would love having you do that. That'd be really I don't fun. Don't believe that we're going to play in finals. You'll see. No, it's not that I don't believe that. I'm not saying that. I'm just, I'm thinking of the show match. The show match I is lots I'm not going to fail after this war. <laughs> <laughs> I, can, I can cut this bit from the podcast. No, 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 no okay. it's in now. All right, fair enough. Well, I'm glad that, okay, fair enough. Okay, 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 okay. Look how he's playing. It's fine, man. It's fine. Well, they're eliminated now. It's GG. I think they won. It's out. The no, Chinese they, won? They lost. Cyclone won? They lost? Cyclone yeah. won. Yeah. Cyclone won. That Cyclone looks won. like the, the face of they just, losing. They were losing 8-1 or 8-2. And they finished them off out of nowhere. Oh, that's heartbreaking. They just destroyed them. On over. So now they need to win two best of threes tomorrow. Yeah. No, wait. Then they no, have to one. play one. Just one. play one. Yeah. They could do it. They could win. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Apex of 90. Yeah, they could actually do it. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Kaze, look how happy he is. Oh, that's a smile. Oh, it's that's nice to see him smile. happy. Good to see people Frey happy. Frey is happy. Kaze is happy. It is nice to see people happy. Okay, let's talk yeah. about Frey. I'm yeah, what about her? <laughs> What's up? No, I'm just kidding. Okay. Well, what I want to ask, what, what did you never answer the question? Huh? huh? The, the Cloud9 question. What do you think of Cloud9? What do you mean? Uh, I think- Which Cloud9? The current the cloud one. Oh, okay. Yeah. The one with electronic. <laughs> yeah. And Perfecto. What yeah. do I think? What yeah. Kind of are, they, are you happy with their level of performance? Did you think they'd be no. better? Did you think they'd be worse? Did you know they were going to leave? Is what better. I want to know. Did you know they were going to leave? Or was it random? <laughs> I asked the simple question. I asked no, the I think uh, everyone knew everything. You knew, they were, you knew they wanted out? I think uh, everything knew about everything. It's not about out. Yeah? It wasn't like... We want to go out, you know. It was other things. It wasn't like uh, they said, you know what, we want to go out. No. It wasn't like that. It happened differently. Yeah. Okay. More complicated. What was up with you in, in uh, Stockholm, the Stockholm major that you guys won? What was that like? Because I feel like I have this like image of you from that major and that like time, those three months from like that Cologne out of COVID on. Well, this was 2021, right? Yeah, 2021 yeah. on, like late 2021. They win Cologne, bit drops the trophy on his head. Well, no, but it felt like it felt like it, <laughs> it felt like really? at that time. No, well, when he lifted the trophy, didn't it? Wasn't it heavy? And he dropped it backwards. <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> I swear he did. Did he? I, I don't think so. That Let me find it. Let me find it. I he feel was like Blade for help. Yeah, yeah Blade helped him. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I feel like at that time in that team, you took on like this new role of like being like a, a bigger voice than I'd ever seen you be in a team before. Like, did you like? Did no, you feel I that way from was, the inside? No, like, no, no. When I when timeouts were taken, I felt like I saw you being so much more vocal with teammates with people around you and it felt like that was like a really good thing for the team i actually don't remember what was back in the days but uh i think i just was saying that we can do this let's do this yeah because i i know the power of the team when i know the power of the team and i understand that we can play differently we can play much better yeah so that mistakes that we are doing right now it's like it, it's not what we usually <laughs> Yeah, no, it's not know. to the level that I know we're and playing that, I'm saying this to team. Yeah. But uh, that's happened when i confident in yeah. team. And Is the confidence comes from practice and from all the stuff, you know. Yeah. Is that the best roster that you played with, that, that version of Navi? Boomish, Electronic, yeah. Perfecto, and Bit. Uh, Bit, of course. Yeah. Yes, the best one. I, it was... Uh, destroying everyone. Yeah, well, you had a period of time where you guys were just absolutely mauling. Yeah, but yes. so, but but uh, I wonder, like, um, well, you can't have that back, can you? I was just trying to think through the other iterations of Navi. Like, obviously, you were there with Zeus and Edward. Like, it's different times. Like, those are people from like when I was watching Counter Strike, like, who were the best yeah. players in the world were, right? Like, the Edwards, the Zeus is back in one point six. Part yeah. of like, you know, it's fucking kind of crazy to think that they went that long as well. How long do you think? We, this is interesting. We had Snappy on the show the other day. And he said he thinks, you know, you can keep playing. Like he said, he thinks Nico can keep playing at the high level counter strike till he's 35. Yeah. How, how long do you think you can keep playing? How old are you now? Like 27? 26 soon. 7? 6? 26 soon. 26 yeah. soon, yeah. And That's yeah, crazy. till 32, 3, easy. Yeah? Yeah. Till 30 is so easy. That's not 6 years. Till 30 is interesting, you know. 
After 30, it depends. It depends how you play till 30, until 30. Because I want to win tournaments, you know. Yeah. Because if I'm not going to win tournaments, it's useless. You know, motivated. Because for me, the most important to win tournaments. Okay. Like, uh, it's better than money. When when you feel like, when you did this, you know. Mm. When you go on the stage, like, yes. That's I'm the here. adrenaline feeling, yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's the thing that's like... Um, it's the best feeling. I was I, I never obviously never won anything, but still competing, like the adrenaline you get from competing is like the drug that you miss when you stop playing. Because people ask me like, oh, do you miss playing? I don't miss practicing fucking 10 to 12 hours a day, right? Like that's, that's the hard work part. But I miss like being in the server and like competing and, and winning or like winning yeah. a big round or winning a big clutch or making a good call. Like that feeling is like fucking crack yes. cocaine, man. Yes. Like yeah. that shit feels great. I don't actually know what crack cocaine you feels like. I want to make the record clear. <laughs> but it feels, fucking, it feels fucking it feels fucking great like when you're in those moments. That's the adrenaline. Yeah. So it's like that's the thing that I guess when you retire, you you kind of forfeit that. Because you can't chase that in other ways of your life. No, you way. can't have it back. It's like gone then. If you lose competing, you lose competing. Yeah. The only other thing that's ever been close for me is jumping out of an aeroplane or bungee jumping. You ever done either of those? No. You, what do you think? You, you yeah. adrenaline junkie? Would you do those things? I would easily do both of this, but mm, I don't want to do this. Yeah? No, no, no point. You don't want to jump out of an aeroplane? No skydiving? No, I want to jump uh, from aeroplane, but this... Bungee jumping? When you just go down? Yeah, the rubber band. Bungee, bungee, bungee jumping, why, why people bungee do this. jumping wasn't as fun. Okay. Skydiving, definitely, I enjoyed more. Yeah. Bungee jumping, I don't know. I did it in Bali. It wasn't even... I've never bungee safe. jumped. Skydiving's amazing. Skydiving's yeah. great. Yeah, skydiving. I, would, I, would, I would easy try. We did skydiving in... Well, we did. Wollongong. They did skydiving in Sydney when we were there a couple of years yeah. ago. Go up to Wollongong. <laughs> Good for you. It's apparently. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm saying you go to Sydney, you go it's, skydiving in Sydney. Yeah, no, legit. I know, it's, I know, it's, I know a, what you mean. it's apparently one of the best places in the world to go skydiving. It has some of the best views. Yeah, see, there was a follow up. My yeah. story was, you know, I had a little bit of something. Jason just had to add the sauce. I, I didn't have the sauce with me at the time. Um, yeah, it was, it was incredible. That was cool. How are you feeling, mate? Good. What time do you have to be up tomorrow? What time do you have to play? Uh, we have team discussion at 12. So. Okay, that's nice. pretty nice. reasonable. Wake up at 11. Game goes live at 4. Have you enjoyed the event so far? Has it been okay? Played yeah. two games, two best of threes, two wins. It's nice. But uh, ESL format sucks. <laughs> Time sucks because... Uh, you for a week. Tomorrow the guy's going to play two games, one of them. And uh, we could play our game, the ones that we play against face. We could play yesterday even. Or the day On before. Friday. Yep. Or yeah. today on Saturday. And instead, the guys have two games and... Uh, we have only one game. Yeah. So it's bad, guys. ESL wake up, stop doing shit. It's not fun for teams. Last two games that I lost, uh, we, we we start to play at 10.30 and 11 p.m. Maybe because of this, some of my teammates and me as well lost some energy. So it shouldn't happen in eSport at all. Mm. Yes. This is a, That's bad. That's very bad, actually. This is an interesting tournament because it, uh, it's structured because like Na'Vi are a partner of this event, right? Mm -hmm. So it's kind of structured to get more games for you, like Na'Vi, on air to have more exposure. But it actually does the opposite with the way that the format is structured. And I think like- There's a, a lot of different interests competing for yeah. why the format is the way it is. Yeah, because one of the things that, you know, that, that they'd like to achieve is have you on the show more because simple is very important to the Counter-Strike world mm. and people want to see that. But it's very hard to get you guys on the show to do things, right? Because you're very busy practicing because of how highly competitive it is. But like what we're doing right now by having a talk with you, like this is like this is fun. Like I like it at events. You and I, we go and we talk outside in front of hotels and stuff and that's fun. Yes, that's why we have talk here because... Yeah. I mean, if you were a stupid person, I would never talk with you. Yeah, well, that, that's good to know. I'm yeah. not a stupid person. Yeah. You've, you've, you've beat that bar. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No, but yeah. That, that's, that's, that's good. <laughs> that, no, but that's good. I, I'd like to say that's that is, nice yeah. to hear. We, yeah. we take it. Yeah. No, but uh, I think it's nice to get to, you know, talk to people about things like this because people talk about things in different ways. Something I noticed was we played... You played with us. You and JL came and owned me and Henry during the media day. In you CS2. had a good chance on pool day. Yeah, right. But we played some people. We played Rain and um, Brokey. Mm -hmm. And we played on AMAP and we fucking owned them. We played pool really? day. Yeah, we played pool day. <laughs> they beat us. We played AMAP and we fucking schooled them, bro. bro because Rain okay. even brought his own mouse, man. And then we bro, played... Bro, I played with my random I know, mouse I know, I know. Well. But, wait, you brought your own mouse? No, of course no, not. No, he brought his own mouse <laughs> and mouse pack. And then we played Orp Lego and they won on Orp Lego. But we fucking took them in a best of three. We took them all the way. Whereas really? you and JL... Yeah. 
Will they beat we'll us? Probably. Tomorrow, <laughs> <laughs> Max Media Day. <laughs> no, but they fight JL and Simple fucking owned us. Yeah. But the thing is, it cool, was cool. I was watching that one. That was good. That was a good game. But my point here was, I guess, like Brokey in interviews. Brokey doesn't say a lot, right? Brokey's pretty. You know, you ask yeah, him, "Hey, Brokey, you know, you know, what do you think of that game?" He's the master yeah, of like good. the three word answers. Exactly. But when when he was playing the game, like against me and Henry, he was like talking shit. He was getting like, you know, he was enjoying it because it was through Counter Strike. Yeah. I think that's like really fun. Like, is like you Counter Strike know, is the vehicle. You get to talk to people in different ways. Yeah. Mm. It's it's good to see like people express themselves through. Counter Strike, right? Like that's something that people do. They kind of get to be different right. through the game. That's what happened to me when I was a kid. <laughs> what? You, you think you do? You don't agree? I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How do you express yourself through Counter Strike with big fucking attitude? That's what I think. Like, that's what I think of count- Simple's Counter Strike is attitude Counter Strike. It's like fuck you Counter Strike. Established dominance Counter Strike. That's a What's couch. Up? That's, 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 that's the broadcast. Where, that's the people. That's where we would love to think have you. What is there. Alex? Why you not there? Why he's not here? Because what happens is in my job, Simple, people, when they hear you doing your job all the time, they mm-hmm. start to hate you. So if mm. you do the same thing with the same person all the time, they don't want to hear you anymore. Ah. So at an event like this, Alex and I don't cast together a lot, so they don't have to hear us all the time because they get fed up of us, which is kind of sad, but it's just the truth. It's the truth over the years, yeah. yeah. But it's not fair. But, that's, but people like, you know, pe- <laughs> people aren't... Wait, what did he say? He said it's not fair. Yeah. yeah but you if don't it, understand if, my English at all? No, I, I was talking. I didn't hear you. If we had Is it because if we're from Bulgaria? <laughs> <laughs> it's a good meme. If we had to watch four Navi games every day, it's a strong meme. Yeah. It's a strong meme. It's a strong meme. Yeah, no, it, it's, uh, it's interesting. It's just, you know, sometimes you got to do what you got to do around here. Okay, if you still continue... Um, be you want to be finished? Be back. No, it's fine. I mean, I think this guy wants to finish. Ask him. We can be fine. It's 11.30. Yeah. It's good. what up to you. I mean, depends how much time we had, we got. We've been talking for two hours and five minutes. No, no, no. How much? You it's eleven thirty right now. It's eleven thirty, eleven twenty-five. Yeah, but it's second time you start recording, or no? I've only stopped recording once. I can stop again. This will be the second time we've stopped. But this one is two hours already. No, no, no. The whole thing is two ah, hours. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want to end the break? Uh, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. Have you had play? Yeah, I have play. Plays had started. All right, welcome back. Um, yeah, we're just hopping on to say uh, have a good night, really. Simple, it was great having you. Thank you for your time. Yeah, thank you for inviting me. Chad's nice. over here slaving away. He's making you some Vegemite. Yeah, thank some you, Some Vegemite Chad. toast yes, and some cheese. Yes, yes. Yeah. Some um, Australian recept, recept, right? So, yeah, thank you for inviting me. I actually had a really good time. Yeah, it was great, man. Appreciate it. Cool. We'll see you guys uh, later. See you.